you know what fuck it let's start because guess what i did i didn't start the timer no i saw that i, I, I saw, saw that. I, I just looked over to my obs preview and went fuck it still says zero 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 fuck it we'll roll with it <laughs> we're doing it live we're doing it live welcome everybody <laughs> to the next official episode five of the delicious podcast with your hosts me luke and to my right yo i'm ross the g as you do <laughs> god damn it <laughs> i'm gonna try doing something different each week okay 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 that's fair enough i have my coffee I have my water that's good h2 that's some good doing, dirty buddy? bean water yeah you know it mm-hmm right, let's lock uh, the chair in there we go oh wait my, my chair lock is being dodgy let me get a comfortable position as well there we go so, no, there we go now i've got to get the back upright like i can't bolt. lean back because it looks like i got too many chins <laughs> i need to, i need i need to get up because it doesn't look right for me <laughs> i got them chins i've got too many chins boy you know how More i feel chins in a chinese phone book oh uh, so dogecoin mm. oh my god <laughs> I, I i genuinely want to go through the vod and actually check what the price was when we actually looked at it last week because it's just hit 40p well 40 cents I, I think it was 23p when we last looked at it and it's just going up to 20 Fuck. but like we've been talking about this for weeks and weeks like when it was first 5p and i was just like we need to buy it luke and you're like eh, it's b for the memes and i'm like it, no it's gonna do well and it has because of the memes Mm. it's yeah it's just it's all over the place at the moment yeah but it's like with any cryptocurrency it, it's, it, it's, it's one of the things you can't really kick yourself or not or do it's one of the things i mean to be fair to even to get it uh you know if it before it goes like anywhere under a dollar and you're and it's still a climbing thing is is guaranteed success well not guaranteed success yeah. but like that like you think like the amount of people that like uh, there was a thing years ago when bitcoin was worth i think it was like 30 or 40 dollars for a whole yeah, bitcoin yeah. someone had ordered a pizza and his he didn't have any cash so he used bitcoin i remember this and story the guy said i will pay you in bitcoin and he did and he paid him a whole bitcoin and then the driver just took it off basically just ended up obviously it ended up coming off of his paycheck and he had this bitcoin that he just completely forgot about and it was worth tens of thousands one of the world's most expensive pizzas mm-hmm yes that's a mr beast pizza right there <laughs> nice. i brought this pizza for a hundred thousand dollars he's, al he's, he's already done the most expensive pizza because he's done the whole yeah, fucking one that's the thing though the amount of content he could have got out of that one episode where he ended up going to like 10 different restaurants in one video he could have made a video on each one and made yeah, 10 really, videos out of it that's not how he does he's very like he, if you go for um do you know when he did this million dollar not million dollar million subscriber challenge where basically people had to hold on for some for 24 hours to get yeah. a shout out like if you look at people um their channels if you're able to find them one of them's gone through like a shorts channel and he's actually traded sand to a tesla but he uh, talks about i actually i fucking i actually hate that because do you know how what? much of that is fucking fake yeah but this one because no one is trading sand is good literally like the first trade is something that is stupid already and it's like no one would have traded a small vial of fucking sand for that i don't know because, because... He, he had to it wasn't someone genuinely wanted that sand it was someone that no. was doing it for that video it's not real it is, it is set up so that person is to do it for him so he can have that trade for the video yeah but it's one of the things where he even goes into depth about how it works because he's had a lot of people saying exactly the same thing that you'd said and it's like he spent that first week over 100 hours trying to find someone to trade with him and just going through person after person after person after person after person, after person. so you can do it it just it's a pain in the ass and for anyone to do it is a pain in the ass but <clears throat> as soon as it started getting a bit more popularity obviously the trades getting 
bit more better because he has more people watching. So people are like, yeah, oh, fuck it, I'll trade this for that. Just be part of the video. And I know what you're saying, like, oh, that's not real. Yeah, then. but yeah, that that's trade... the thing. When it gets to that point, that's when the trades aren't genuine because it's so <laughs> it can continue the video. Yeah. That's not a genuine only... person that's like, you know, me oh. on someone with Facebook and they're like, oh, looking to sell my PlayStation 4 will take, you know, something of equal value. And I'm like, oh, you know, I want, I wonder if it, you know, take X here, like, and they're like, yeah, why not? Like, it's not like that. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It, it's a it's a weird thing, but it goes back to how uh, one of the questions we had last week, where it was like, would you have have uh, was it a million dollars or a penny that multiplies twice? Uh, no, a penny, a single penny, but it doubles. the amount multiples, no. doubles yeah. every single day for thirty days. It's the same kind of concept, but with trading. But I know what you're saying at the point when it gets to when it gets to the Tesla, it's not a legitimate trade. No, because it's, it's for the video. The yeah, it's only for the video. Like the but one guy that I saw, I think he he got like some like insanely rare guitar, and then fucking ended up getting like a fucking Hollywood tour bus off David Dobrik. It's like fuck, that was so uningenuine the way that 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 was done. Yeah, but it's it's it depends how you def like define value itself. So if you define value as just being within the item, yes, it's not a genuine trade. But if you define value as being in the item, the experience, and also the videography being part of something, it is a genuine trade then. Because it's a trade of, I will give you this, I will get something that's not as good, yes, bear in mind, but I will be part of this experience and this video. And I know in your eyes that's not a real trade at that point. Because no, it's not. It no. <laughs> No, and I know, I know you're just trying like I'm not sure why you're like defending it in a sort of way because it. I'm not defending it. I'm saying that the value is there, even though it doesn't seem like it is there. Because I've seen a lot of different kind of trades go on. Like I, when I've tried to sell stuff before, I've had people trying to trade with me all the time, and it's yeah, just but they're, they're, but they're like, real genuine trades. They're people that are trying to get the best value because like. Some people That's don't want to trade, item. don't but want to trade something experience. of equal That's... amount. Yeah, equal value. You're going to try to get the best for it. But what I'm trying to say is, like, I'm trading just an item. I'm not trading the experience of being part of something where that is part of the genuine trade. It's the trade-off of being a part of that video, being part of that subject. And yes, I know you don't care about it, but there are people out there who do care about being a part of the experience, being part of something that's funny, being part of something that like, oh, I don't mind getting rid of this. But as it got up to the bus level, I think it is that famous guy being like, yeah, I'll be a part of this because it's it's good. At the end of the day- It's that, for it his name, it's for his clout, it's for, it's yeah, for the it's internet, good. it's for the content. So it's yeah, and that's a trade of clout, content, and different values in different ways. So the trade there does work, but also at the same time, it's not just about the item itself. It's about all the other things you can get from the item. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that wasn't. That's not the point of those videos. It's I am taking this singular item and trading my way up. It's not. It's literally going for just sheer monetary value. And going from mm. this item to this item so saying about how being part of an experience is literally null and void because that is not the point of trading a physical monetary value item to another higher monetary value item that is literally it cannot coincide with those two topics they do not exist it's just cool content it's the internet it's mo modern day you get some fucking stupid content on the internet nowadays <laughs> well everything is content hey case in point right here come on <laughs> cake farting a girl sits on a cake and farts on it that is billions of dollars in content yeah i know that's billions of dollars in content like and uh, anything is content that. to anyone so it doesn't but matter I'm what you make don't matter what you make you can make the most fucked up shit you can make the most simple shit the most complex shit like there is someone out there for it yes 
and I won't disagree with you on that. There is someone out there for every bit of content. Exactly. But yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'm burping. I've just had my day and you're saying it was very starchy, so my my voice and all that is a bit iffy at the moment. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. trying. To... Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to sit down some water. Shark, no matter how hard you try, you will not ever do here. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> do here, boy. No matter how well, hard you try. You never know. It might be a possibility one day. No. One day in the future. Because guess who has control? <laughs> this motherfucker. <I'm> maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't mind adding the trigger fire program, but it would have to be stuff that's relevant. Yeah, yeah. It's like... not just random memes and random sounds. Like my know, stream, maybe... so it just adds random stuff. I want to add something that will be stuff that can be used in the stream the like one of them could literally be something like when we eventually you know, if we actually get you know point um channel points yeah yeah they could literally redeem it and it's just like it's an audio cue it triggers an audio cue that goes question or something like that yeah and we can just look at the question then that they put towards us yeah because what uh, you can do is with the chat with, with the the redemption you can allow them to put in a question so it highlights it and makes sets off the audio that goes like you know i have a question and it will set off that and it will highlight their message at the same time as the thing i'm thinking like a coin flip kind of thing but a dog walks across the screen and the coin flips at the same time and when the coin comes down at the corner of the screen it's a dogecoin no, a bit too complicated. <laughs> well, no, well, no, it's just. I mean, well, yeah, because yeah, it's also that that's something that doesn't physically already exist, so it would have to be something that would have to be custom made. Yeah, uh, we can get that like, custom made though on Fiverr quite easily. Yeah. Fiverr's a beautiful place, a oh. beautiful place for beautiful people and weird people a lot of weird people but that's the internet it's full of lots of weird people the definition of normal is not even normal either because if you are normal you're abnormal because <laughs> and no what's one another def what's another word for abnormal different normal oh well, different yes because everyone's guess what? different and you'll need to wake everyone is different yeah <laughs> you're all beautiful you're breathtaking <laughs> no <laughs> you, 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 nope. you just can't pull it off no, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Your breath. No. Ah, I can't fucking do it. Your breath take it. No. No. And, then, and that that just made it worse. That just made it creepy. <laughs> like, it's like you're kind of that, that dude that girls avoid at the nightclub because you walk up, your breath taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I have very dry lips, you see. <laughs> dry lip disease. <laughs> Just constantly licking. Thing is, people do. Like, I used to suffer from really severely bad chapped lips when I was younger. To the point really? where, because I used to lick, because my my um my lips used to be feel so dry, I'd constantly lick my lips. And what that would do is that used to cause an irritation, and it basically used to add like like a red irritation round like my top lip so my top lip because obviously you have your lip line yeah that basically used to have this like red irritated rash around the top of my lip line making my my top lip look like twice as thick so well, it literally well, looked like i got lips. like a big old like punch to the upper lip or anything like that it looked so bad because i just <laughs> all i literally did like every 10 seconds is just lick my lip and it got irritated and because saliva will dry out your skin yeah yeah because it has um all the food stuff in and also it has like some amino things and to break down food a bit better as well so it'll dry out the skin as well um the one time i've ever had like really fucking sore lips is when i dived so here's a story story time uh I went swimming with a friend of mine and i decided to dive into the swimming pool um we're kind of into the like way, way point between where like the deep end kind of like dips off and where the shallow end is mm. and i i dived being at the deep end to the angle where the shallow end was so i face planted fully on my lip just like up here onto the shallow end came up and my face was just covered with blood luckily all that was scabbed up was like here 
and here and if you can't people listen at home and people are just listening to this um that is just below my nose on like a little dimple bit that was just completely scabbed up and i had that for months and it was so bloody irritating because it felt like constantly dry lips and it took so mm. long to heal up because it's just like it's near where mucus is and it's near where you lick your lips and it would constantly get infected i'll have to clean it dry it and then try to put a plaster over it and that just would not work so mm. i think after like three months it finally healed up but i i know that pain with like having uh, irritation near the lips there but i've yeah. never suffered from chap lips that's the closest i've ever came to something uh, like that my, mine was always just the stereotypical as soon as soon as it hits winter and it gets cold outside just i goes. just constantly have to lick my lip obviously i see i think do you know do you know the reason why it stopped why and why my my <laughs> You should be able to guess this. Why, as I got older in life, suddenly my top lip stopped getting cold? Uh, Mustache. 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 Ooh. Mm, Tweaky, tweaky, baby. It's it's funny how a cut in your mouth is healed much faster than a cut in your lip. Uh, Yeah, but that's because... the one of the fastest points to heal is your tongue. So if you bite your tongue... It, that motherfucker will heal real quick it's actually uh so the inside of your mouth and your tongue are like the quickest points to heal for some reason i can't remember the exact science behind it but they've done studies on it and it heals real quick that's why people can almost like sever their tongue they can put it back together and it'll heal quite quickly mm. um also another really interesting thing so when you're younger as well you heal a lot quicker so if you're between the ages of like zero and four you can literally lose the like the tip of your finger like that much get completely cut off and it would regenerate back uh just because you're in that growth stage and your body actually has the resources to do it but you need to be well nourished and have plenty of protein vitamins and all that other stuff as well but your body will regenerate that bone and that tissue back it won't be as good as it was before but it will regenerate it back it's a interesting thing because it's like you still have kind of stem cells in your body so your body can just repair it that's creepy that, as fuck yeah imagine that, that though, doesn't even sound humans. like that's possible yo rum Rummy. yo how's it going buddy yeah but that is that is a possibility uh that, that sounds it, like you're fucking mutant it does doesn't it that's because, yeah, cool well, yeah because like you said like from the ages of like from like being born like zero like, like one month old to like four your body is like literally by the day changing growing and like developing because you even after you're born you're not actually fully like fully developed so it's like no, it that's takes six months yeah so you're losing like the the very tip of your finger and your body could actually grow that back is fucking very weird to hear. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that for adults so they could unlock that in adults where oh, you're just mate. like that'd be amazing but also no, the, the, the one thing like... that people the, the adults would like is if you could chop it off and it would grow back slightly larger Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh! You, uh, you oh, mean like uh, Olympics chop off? Oh no! And, and and Shark just fucking honed that in for me. Does it apply to dicks too? <laughs> oh well, you said it subtly. He was just like dicks. I like that. <laughs> just like you being dead subtle. Shark's just like, okay, dicks. I need to know. Yeah, could, could I like regen my dick? I, w- I, I wouldn't recommend it if you could though because like it would cause so many problems with infection because like you pee out of there where would the pee go once you chopped it off do you have to like well, the, get the it, like... pee stored in the balls right what no <laughs> no this is not how biology works yeah the pee is stored in the balls no your sperm chat. is stored in your balls chat Back me up on this. P is stored in the balls, correct? It's stored in the bladder. No, it's stored in the balls. What? What? what, Why else would they be there? For your sperm. (laughs) See, shark. (laughs) Yes. No, you have a bladder for this. Ross. Yes. A genuine question here. Yes. How long have you been on the internet? 
What age since? That's a question. You're half right there. Uh... Are we talking? So are we talking ten plus years? Yeah, we're, to we're definitely talking ten plus years. Because then, uh, how the fuck about three years ago? Did you never see that meme? I've no, I've never seen it. It was like what the is one of the biggest memes from PewDiePie. P is stored in the balls. Well, is this? What? It was actually PewDiePie and Cinnamon Toast Ken. P is stored in the balls. I've never seen this meme ever. It missed me. Well, way way I've... older than three years. Yeah, actually, yeah, because when them, t when 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 Ken and Felix were actually like making videos here, maybe five to six years then. See, I've been on the internet since two thousand. 2002 the first time i ever went on a computer to play any game and it was runescape no it wasn't runescape what was it it was fuck i can't remember oh i remember now it was disney basically buzz lightyear game mm. so it was like a disney game where you're buzz lightyear and you're going around and it's like a toy story kind of game as well which is weird i oh, can't remember the fucking buzz name of the game. Is from toy story so yeah but Back then, Buzz, had his... <laughs> Buzz Lightyear had his own TV show, and it was based yeah. mainly around that. Oh, right. fair enough. Am I mixing things here? Fuck I, my have, no, I have no idea from games that would have been out for <laughs> the P for the personal computer when I when I was ten. What was that? that you, said been... you said two thousand and two. Was the first yeah, time. About so you'd have been like seven, yeah, yeah. like six, seven mm. years old when you first played a, a PC game. Yeah, that's about right. I was Buzz, very young. Buzz Lightyear Star Command Rangers or something? Christmas? Yes, that sounds about right. You'd have Do you to know just, what it's called? You'd have to just search oh. it. You'd have to just like, you are the one that has the full capability right now. I mean, actually, I, we have the scene for that as well. Yeah, let's just search it and see what it's called because this is going to annoy me otherwise. I need to see what this is. Let's... Yes! Okay, this is the game. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, because there was like a TV show about it and I, I love yeah. the TV show so much. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah, the yeah, game yeah, 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 yeah. There was like a space alien girl who I had kind of like had the crush on at the time. And she's literally in this photo. Is she? She's on the right of this photo that I'm on. When you when yeah. It oh, the big red guy. He he was a G. He was yeah, like the and the fucking relief. weird guy with like the noodle head as well. Yeah. Shit. Almost completely forgot about this stuff. I I do remember this program. Yeah. Yeah, there was, was a, like your was star like a command. Game for it. I was like, yeah, Star game. Command, yeah, yeah. Um, here, Buzz Lightyear like, yeah, of Star Command video game. It was a Disney game, yeah, obviously. Well, yeah, because Disney owns pretty much everything nowadays. Even back then, they pretty much owned everything. I mean, how old are you, Shark? Because I think you might. I don't know. You're not that much. How old are I you might now? Find this. 23? I might find this game. Yeah, I think 23 you might not have been walking or talking at that point. So there might be a chance that you wouldn't remember this. But me, Ross... I mean, well, to be fair, Ross remembers it and Ross isn't that much older. So there no, is I'm a possibility. Cool. Yes, yeah, so there is a possibility that you would have been remembered it, but maybe just not. <laughs> See, I'm tempted now to see if I could like hunt down a copy of this game for PC because I've got a disc tray and I'll be I'll be able to play it. Mate, just emulate it. No, I'll buy it. Let's go Emulate it. <laughs> SWAT like, cats. What? What SWAT hat? Oh, they're like, like I don't fucking know. I I I don't remember this. What? Let's click on one of them pictures. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a bigger picture. The Radical Squadron. I think I remember seeing this advertised. But oh, I've obviously we it. can tell. We can tell that it's a car. Uh, obviously it's a cartoon because we're talking about childhood cartoons right now. But so yeah. 
Look at Ross flexing with his disc tray. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you know it. It's a Blu-ray player as yeah. well. So who who fucking who who buys a PC in the modern day with a fucking disc tray in it? I do because boomers. I want to play the old game. Oh wait, you're way too young to be a boomer. But you act yes, like I am. Well, my dad's actually still a millennial. Technically speaking, my dad is a millennial. The game wouldn't work on your disc tray. Why not? Uh, probably because mo- um, old games wouldn't run on modern disc tra- um, modern laser discs or something. I will find a way to get it to work. Or Windows 10. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. I'd have to get old Windows. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Just find an... Em- I bet you could emulate it. I bet you could probably emulate it. Oh, but, but it's not as good then. I know it's pretty much the same in every single way, but it's not as good. I know it's not. It doesn't make any sense, that, but yeah. Does, um, what games do you remember from like the old days? Like old, old, old games. Oh, uh... I remember the Power Rangers being a game. Emulators suck balls. I would just be the one to say it. Yeah, but if that's the only way to be able to play it, then at least it's worth to like go down nostalgia street alex kid oh my god sega games man oh golden axe oh <laughs> streets of rage only the original one fuck streets of rage 2 because that was trash i used to me and my pl- mate used to play it on our sega all the time i meet me and my, one of my best friends chris actually knows this person his name is robert landon like one of like mine and chris's like way 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 early childhood friends yeah yeah just used to play back in the day i remember i used to play uh destroy all humans on the playstation 2 back in the day i used to go next door to my mates and we used to stay up all night just killing people and you know probing them that was fun Mm. and there was also a couple other games area 51 scared the shit out of me (laughs) on the playstation 2 it was one of the very first horror games i actually ever played i was just like yeah no yeah i don't like this oh alex the kid in miracle world was actually built into every sega mega system every sega master system really it was a built-in uh, game no way cool. oh yeah no 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 no. yeah i remember that i remember that because there was a you know back then you didn't used to you know boot a console without the cartridge in because that was you know like game consoles nowadays you boot them without something in you go into the main menu without starting up a game right yeah. or it opens up ready to load that game you had but to boot it with the game in it. You, yeah, old it consoles it. used to have to boot with the game in it. But the Sega, if you didn't put a, if you didn't put the cartridge in, you could load up Alex Kid. Yeah, I, I yeah. That's interesting. That's a quite unique thing. I just got Alex Kid in Miracle World by accident. I accidentally turned my master's on without the game in, and was like, "What? Yeah, 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 yeah." <laughs> that I I remember that having a, a Sega Mega System myself. Oh mate. Oh um sonic sonic 3d the first yeah. 3d moving platform sonic game holy shit blew my fucking balls <laughs> blew your balls didn't blew it? my fucking balls mate sonic 3d was great see M- flicky island yeah yes sonic flicky island mate yes what's flicky island about it sounds like that an island was, that, that was the that was the 3d because there, there were different versions. You had, as, as these pictures actually show here, you had Sonic 3D, Flicky's Island, but then I think it was in... on a, di- a different console or from a different region, you then had Sonic 3D Blast. So was it, that it was the pinball edition? No, I, th- I think it was just the difference between European and American, I think, because they always change names of games. Yeah, and they changed some subjects about it as well. Was it Sonic 2 that had the score that was possibly done by Michael Jackson? What? As, um, so Sonic 2, the game, yeah. possibly had um, some of the... Mu- it's theorised that some of its music was helped to be made by Michael Jackson. Oh, well, R- Rum says no, lol. No? Why did I hear that then? Maybe you heard that about some a different game. I know it's one of the Sonic games. One of them had a score, basically, where it was just like, 
apparently Michael Jackson helped on it, but then he kind of dropped out the project, so he was never credited for it. Mm, fuck those. Fuck <sighs> nose. Oh, fuck, fuck nose, good sir. Yeah. But, oh my god, some of these games. I'm just trying to think of other games, man. Did you ever play... Did you have ever GameCube? I've never owned any Nintendo console bar a Game Boy and a Switch. Oh, by the way, big, big news. What's the big news? My Switch has died forever. What? Yeah, it, it it's just fucked. It's just fucked. It just doesn't turn on anymore. Wait, and then I got it to turn on. I plugged it in and the the screen turned on and the little charging thing came up in the corner. I was like, okay, fair enough. It's, it's you know, it just needs a really long, good charge. Left it on overnight, turned it on, walked away, came back, picked it up and I hit one of the triggers by mistake. And you know, obviously when you do the press the button three times and you hear the sounds because it's unlocking. Yeah, yeah. That was all happening, but the screen was black. Huh. And then I was navigating the menus I opened up a game and I could hear the game. Everything but was running, dead. but the screen is just completely black. And then I put it down. I put it back on charge. Like, I don't know. I'll try it. I'll get it fully charged and then I'll dock it and see if that will work. The dock doesn't even recognize the switch. It just literally, the light doesn't come on. There's no feed to my monitors. Nothing. Hmm. All visuals are fucked. And now it doesn't even turn on at all. Like there's no audio, no nothing. It doesn't do nothing. It's been plugged in for like three days straight now. On mains, not on the dock. Okay. Send it to me. And if you don't mind, I can try taking it apart and look at it and see what's up with it. Because I like taking stuff apart and seeing if I can fix it. Uh, the switch. That, that didn't, that didn't make me sound very confident though. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't, I like taking stuff apart and seeing if I can fix it. Yeah, because it could be something's just absolutely blown up on it. It could be like yeah, but... something's chorted out and I just can't replace it. Like I took my uh, two Xbox controls apart and it was just a simple case of changing out the uh, the basic little sticks on them and it's like change them out, that's fine. Yeah, and but it's like... Ch change it, like doing a controller for a fucking Xbox compared to a full Switch system. Have you actually seen someone disassemble a Switch system before? Oh yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, Basically, not, it has heat pipes all that, around it, and it's but, quite complicated. But that warranty, though, that ran out like two years ago. Do you know how old that console is? It's just the price has stayed so well that people don't believe that it's a fucking like four years old. <laughs> it's 2017 it came out, isn't yeah, it? I bought. It, it's I got, been a while. I got that Switch on re literally like. Well, because the first time I saw a Switch. The first time was your friends at Insomnia. Yeah. Because he literally just got it and in and actually got it and had, had it at the event. Yeah, he brought it at the event. And yeah. I was literally just like, I've just got this brand new. And it was only out then for a couple of months. And that was back in 2016. Mm. So it was even older. Yeah. Fuck. It, well, it's like when you think of the Xbox One, when people are like, oh yeah, the Xbox One isn't that old. It came out in 2013. Mm. It's old. Oh yeah, when it's you old. think of when these consoles came out, holy shit. Yeah, it's, it's one of the things where it's just like, keys! Yeah. <laughs> I'm old! I'm not... It's just like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm, I'm slowly dying. I'm fading with the universe. Getting a bit existential on your ass. <laughs> Yeah, could, it, yeah, but no, it was released in most regions March the third, twenty seventeen. So just before Insomnia. Yeah. Like a, a few weeks. So he, literally, he got it when it was first first out. Because yeah. I remember there being a big banner of uh, Legend of Zelda being out as well, Breath Cause, of the Wild. Because I got it just after Insomnia, so literally about a month a month and a half into release so it is over four years literally today it is march the third today wow <laughs> wow okay then holy so <laughs> shit <laughs> that's a coincidence and a half four years to the day it has been released now 
when we start talking about how long ago did it get released, it's like, oh yeah, that, that's a coincidence. <laughs> But dude, yeah, I don't mind taking the part. Oh wait, switch. no. Uh, what my that March, March. We're in May. That's because my my brain fucked up because of M's. Never mind. It's over three years. <laughs> uh, it's over four years. Four years and two months. Damn it. Damn it. I don't know why. I, I, yeah. But it's the first day as well, though. So it's but, still it still works out. Yeah, it's just because <laughs> it was the third. Because it was the third. Yeah. My brain just instantly saw the M and just went M third. Yep, that's where we are right now. But I didn't actually think of, about it. But yeah, a bit of a brain fart. It's over four years old. It's my third that warranty. Time, right? I have to on. That warranty, even if you pay for the expensive warranty, only lasts you two years. Yeah. And there's mine no still turns on. It's all good. Yeah. Let me let me go quickly grab mine. Uh, hello there. Hey, Alex. Welcome back, buddy. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, literally. We're talking about broken switches and all different things. It's all fun games. I literally, you I'm know. literally holding the fucking power button, mate. And it's not turning on. It'd be funny if it did turn on just to fuck you over. Oh, I, I, at least <laughs> I'd be fucking happy that it works. I can then go, go buy Pokemon Snap. Uh, is that the only reason you turned it on the other day just to get Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I was gonna go on the store and buy it. But yeah, yeah I've literally the whole enough. time I've just been holding. And does it? So the dock just doesn't recognise it now either. So you can't no. even use it dock because because the the switch itself isn't outputting any video or any nothing. When it's docked, it's still not outputting a video source. Like I think mm. like it's internal video. It's just like like the theoretical like GPU of the card is just fried. Send it to me and I'll see what I can do with it. Nah, I'm good. Oh, I can. I, I will try. Or you just. I, 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 I'm yeah. I'm I'm. As, uh, I love you, buddy, but I'm not letting you just take a guess and rip my switch apart. Thanks. Even if it's out of warranty <laughs> and it has to go in the bin anyway, I'd rather keep it as it is crypto wallet I'd, um, I'd, I'd rather make a video of me literally snapping this in half on my knee <laughs> what just for the memes yeah. uh, no that's why i can't oh. play that's why i can't play clone hero anymore when did you snap that it kept bugging out on me like even the fucking neck like i literally snapped the neck out of it and everything you got really pissed off, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, because it, I've been having this glitching problem with it for ages, and it just got worse it, and worse, and then the guitar just stopped working, and I, it literally, the the Bluetooth would never connect to my PC. It just stopped how, working. So I did literally yeah. just bent the fucker over on my knee and just snapped it in half. How long ago was that, and was it on stream? No, it was about three days ago. Was it on stream, or was it not on stream? It was not on stream, because I've basically had no stable internet for four days ah okay fair enough fair enough finally got someone around to sort with the from my isp to get it sorted yeah yeah uh alex uh is asking about the crypto wallet um basically where we are at that i think and the answer to that is sh shit's not sorted yet <laughs> yeah no we 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 basically because of identities bank accounts like everything like that we can set one up but we can't set it with me we can't we have to set up with ross's with like ross's details because we've got an we email can... address but we're now gonna have to create another new email address and to link a bank account to it because i can't do it for a certain bank account because mine's already linked to one ross doesn't have one so we'd have to then set up that so we can actually have a brand new account that isn't already linked to something and it's just so fucking irritating we could do it uh, straight after the stream because I'm not working tomorrow. Um, bank holiday Monday, I decided I'll take tomorrow off as well. So after the stream is over at 10 o'clock, we can stay on stream, uh, stay on chat, and you could talk me with me through it, how to get it all set up and stuff, and we'll just do it straight after <coughs> the stream. So for next stream, it is actually sorted. Mm. I know, I know, right? But it's an inside joke. I nearly smashed my controller one time. Everyone was around doing those crystal challenges. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious! Because literally, we've still got. I'm pretty sure the clip is still on your Twitch somewhere. And it's just like, as he like fails that fucking mission, 
and the fucking tr controller go like ps4 controller goes across the living room into the wall across the other side and there's just me on just like the edge of the frame and there's just my face is just like oh so like oh shit what well, i just happened there and i'm just because i was streaming myself so i just sort of like continued what i was doing but you just saw that look on my face and i was like holy shit he just fucking he just Kai threw down he just fucking went ham on that controller but then he got he, he picked up and it was still working you know it never broke it never got damaged it was just a beast uh yeah i could join you for bl3 run shock uh also why don't we come crypto oh shark sh sh um shark's talking about something uh, a, a series that is on my twitch oh okay fair, fair enough not, you not, about, to join not about you but it would mean you'd have to dedicate like four hours on the same day every day what day are we talking about tuesdays <laughs> what time like I, I need to figure this out because I, <laughs> four hours you say this is the re this four to five hours this is the reason why i never asked you because i know you have to do shit, shit like on. like you, you've got like fucking walk dogs and shit so it's like yeah. that's why there's no instant thing to like think about or something new that we could do because it's going to be impossible yeah. to get you in because it's gonna be like yeah, seven seven till like eleven yeah i don't i don't have that time to give at the moment because i've got a lot of shit going on like <clears throat> i've just applied for something i'm trying to sort that out as well i'm waiting for that to come back uh also i'm trying to get myself physically fit so tuesday is a gym day for me anyway yeah. also uh something new in the works which i won't say just yet what it is but it will be coming soon and it's i've got plenty of things for it and plenty of different things it's basically a new channel that i'm creating and it's going to be interesting that's all i'm going to say about that and also working on my uh existing channel at the moment because i haven't made anything in a month but i'm still getting 110 views a day somehow so that's interesting no seriously i haven't done anything on it in literally a month but i keep looking at my view count and it's like i'm getting 110 people come to my channel every single day <laughs> i'm just like all right, I need to start making shit again. So mm. I've got a couple ideas for that as well. Hell yeah. Which is, obviously, it's just going to be me, but naked on my uh, in my swimsuit, uh, which is the new craze right now on Twitch. <laughs> you, you've got to be in a hot tub, <laughs> yeah, and you've got to be riding a giant banana. Oh, I can get the giant banana. Or a hot no dog. Only or a hot dog. Only fans. <laughs> oh, no, no man. We, My only fans is already paying me enough money. I don't need any more. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, mine's only fucking two hundred and fifty dollars a day. Oh yeah, that's that's nothing, but Mine's at least six hundred dollars a day. <laughs> but that's because I've got the assets, boy. You know, Ooh, I've got the Alex, assets. Alex, Alex with the burn. I'll pay a pound or two. Oh, I'm down for a pound or two. That'll probably get you a minute, a minute in heaven. Uh, I can, I can do, I can do a special thing for you for a pound or two. <laughs> oh, this is everything I've ever. <laughs> oh, love that. Yeah, damn shit, I'm out of water, dude. Ah, it's fine. At least it will stop you fucking peeing constantly. Yeah, but I have the exact opposite problem right now because I've not been working. So when I'm working, I drink a lot of fucking water because I'm standing on my feet all day. And when I'm not working, I don't drink enough water, so I get a really dry throat. <laughs> so it's like well you can't say that today because you haven't even been at work so you can't complain no that's what i'm saying i've not been at work so i've not been drinking water so i've got i'm gonna have a dry throat so if it gets to a point when i start going eh, <laughs> you know why it's because I, I need to get that water in me dehydration i was going to search something and i now can't remember what i was gonna do oh because alex said about um mining mining cryptocurrency on your phone i did have an app that's what i want to do because i deleted it a while ago yeah i've seen that it's like cloud-based crypto mining it's not actually using the assets from your phone to crypto mine it it's like your yeah, it is. i know there's ones that are you use your assets on your phone to crypto mine but there's ones that are cloud-based so basically you send off uh a signal saying that yeah on here and it uses like a cluster to mine 
other than taking the full capability of your phone, it takes a small percentage. Well, and then yeah, crypto miner. What was the one that I used? Uh, oh, I don't, if I just go into my installed, well, not installed my my apps and look at library, Appetaps. and there'll be uh, what was it called? It was called. I don't know. Your okay. mama. Oh, I don't even dare talk about my mama. Storm, Your mama. Storm gain. Storm gain. Storm gain. That was the one that I used on um on Android. <laughs> that sounds dodgy. And it just <laughs> you open up the app and then obviously you you go onto the thing, you, you hit mine and then you you know, just have the app running on in the background. It drains yeah. the shit out of your battery though, so don't do it while you're sleeping because you'll wake up with no battery. That's why you plug your phone in before you go to sleep. Yeah, no, but some 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 people don't always feel the need to have to do that. Yeah, yeah. Not everyone runs their battery dry constantly. Drinks what? Empties during work. I'm sorry, what are empty? Do you mean like empty beer cans? Where are you looking? Uh, I'm looking in the chat. Uh, uh, Ross it, looks like a guy that drinks energy drinks. Oh, energy drinks. Oh, okay. I, for me, it said Enties. I was just like, why is it saying Enties? That's my thing, reading it wrong. <laughs> Pie up. Uh, I, I don't really drink energy drinks at all, to be honest. Uh, That's I, right. I drink... I'll, I'll, be, I'll be sending you some, some photos tomorrow because I've got a, uh, a local bulk buy business that I'm, I'm stopping by tomorrow. <sighs> That's mm -hmm. like newly opened up and is selling like insane fucking huge crates and boxes of anything that you can think of for like no more than a fiver. And we're talking like crates of like 32 cans of monster for like a fiver. Do they have peach tea? Probably. If they have peach tea, text me, please. What, Lip Lipton? What, what sort of brand? Uh, the big cans. You know them cans we had before, where it's like they oh, have you ain't getting oh, they ain't getting Arizona. They're not getting American stuff in, mate. Ah, oh, I got my hopes up. A box of noodles. Oh, they've got noodles, mate. Oh, they've got so many. They've got these chow su pork um, ramen noodles. Like I think it's a box of twelve for like two pound. See, and I've we're never talking lived like that the noodle lifestyle. and we're we're talking about like the big pots. Not like a you know a small package that you get fifty p in the shop. We're talking like the big pots. Like have you seen the ones case, that have like the self heat? Huh? Have you seen the ones that have like the self heating packets with them as well? What you can get now, where basically it's like ramen noodle, but like for on the go, and it has like magnesium packs in it. So you just literally pour water in, put the magnesium pack, and it cooks it for you. No, that sounds highly dangerous. I've never seen those before. It's not actually dangerous because the chemical reaction, unless if you hold on to the pack whilst the chemical reaction is going on, yes, then that will be dangerous because you're going to burn your hand. But it's not really that dangerous. All it is is a chemical reaction that just creates heat and you put it underneath where the water is and it heats up the ramen noodles that's and makes it all... That's literally just a, an MRE. Yeah, it's like it is exactly like an MRE, but it's ramen. It's ramen noodles in the style like... It's got the whole packaging and stuff like that, and it's all it's all good. Yay, Ducky Steve, how you doing, buddy? Got triggered by noodles. Day. Now we know what he le Luke eats for dinner every day. Mate, I eat yeah. fucking, I eat all sorts of shit. Ramen is one of my like, probably it's in my top five, but it's nowhere near. It's under sushi. It's under pizza. Oh, it's under box. it's really under it's box. it's under cigarettes and coffee. <laughs> yeah, cigarettes and coffee are your main source of uh, sustenance. I eat steak every day. Well, it's because you own cattle, shark. <laughs> you got, got accepted. accepted. What are you accepted for? What, Steve? I have you. Huh? Help. Huh? Harvard. What? Dude, cats. Nice! Well done, dude! I'm gonna put a really long, heartfelt message in the chat. 
Oh, I, I'm just gonna say my heartfelt message. Hang on. Well done. No, hang on. I'm, 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 I'm still typing my message. Hang on. All right, I'll let you finish your message typing that out and stuff. It's like and, super uh, heartfelt, so I'm just trying to make sure this says everything that I want it to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I'll, I'll wait till you've done that, and then I'll say what I want to say. Here we go. This is for you, Steve. I hope this does everything that you need. <laughs> Pog! Pog champ! Dude! No, 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 no. There's no champs. It's just Pog. Oh, it's, just Pog. it's just straight it's Pog. Pog. It's just straight Pogs. Congratulations, Steve. It. I'm just going to say, well done. Motherfucker. You deserve it. Yeah, you deserve it, dude. And all the best of luck to you. And I can't wait to hear your crazy stories come out of that. Oh, I need more water, dude. I need more water. Just go before I no. slap you through the no. camera. No, because you're going to leave me another message and I'm going to have to listen to it again. It's going to be heartbreaking. I'm going to cry. No, I'm going to get more water. do what I tell you. Oh, <laughs> you better do what I tell you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my water bottle. That's like a litre water bottle. I actually grab a good amount. So I'll see you in a bit. Boy. Anyway, semester starts in September. Holy shit. Big exciting shit. I'm going to get rid of the page for the switch. <laughs> we don't need the switch stuff. Um, Alex, if you're still here, do you remember last week when we mentioned about buying Dogecoin like the few hundred dogecoin how much was it at that point can you remember how much it was last week because i'm just trying to us i can't remember what it was because ross thinks it was like 23 cents decided to go early and meet him with the americanos nice because they're gonna leave at the end of august get get there get settled nice good idea all right, I'm back. He's back. I'm back with the water, but also a secret ingredient. Oh, for fuck's sake. Green motherfucking tea, bro. I like myself some green tea. Tasty stuff. It's healthy. It's got uh, stuff in it. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's got stuff in it. <laughs> I've got stuff in me. I'm gonna put some stuff in you in a minute if you don't shut up about oh. your green tea. Oh, oh, ba oh, baby! Next time I come and see you, you're gonna put that stuff in me hard. I like it. <laughs> you're gonna put the beep to the beep to the beep. Green tea is <laughs> shit, though. <laughs> I I won't deny the taste isn't the best, but I put a little lime in this as well, so. I, I was a fancy motherfucker. I Lemon tea. tea. Mm, yeah. To be fair, like you can have like regular black English tea with a slice of lemon, no sugar, no milk. And that's actually quite nice. It has to be honey with tea. It has to be honey. No, because honey is for when you have a sore throat. It's not just for casual drinking. No, it's for casual drinking for nah, me. Nah, man. Nah, I don't that's, care. No, that's casual for cold, no, colds and sore throats, mate. Also, it's good for your vocal cords. Yeah, for when your so f throat is sore. When yeah. your voice is in perfect health, it will literally, it won't do anything. But tastes good. It just tastes good, okay? I can have honey in my tea. I don't need to be ill, have a sore throat. I can do this. Oh, Shark's a badass. He actually genuinely drinks tea with no sugar or milk. Ooh, He's just have... a black tea drinker. They are hard to come across. Black coffee drinkers, yes, I know those. Black tea drinkers, yeah, it's a bit more difficult in England because a lot of people in England. Um, so yes, this rum. might be surprising, surprising to some people, but people in England actually like milk and two sugars. They like milk and not creamer, just pure milk in the tea, which I found out is a weird thing in America. Oh yeah, well, I mean are. they have they have um, like coffee creamer and shit like that. Yeah, but we. But just... that's, it's only like it's just highly used because there is also. Um, it's like 
a high percentage of like lactose intolerance and shit like that so people started yeah. using the coffee cream because it's lactose free and it just become like everywhere that makes coffee did it with that unless it was like fresh like proper made coffee like starbucks yeah or cream cheese just use cream cheese because cheese is lactose free some of it i'd like, like to see you try put fucking philadelphia in a fucking cup of coffee mate good fucking luck and <laughs> see that shit and, and and drink the lumps and try not to vom i'll do that for a video and pop it onto our discord channel by the way just a quick segue into that we have I'll... now got a discord channel everyone mm -hmm. i like sour <laughs> stuff yes i do i actually finished eating something that was oh. sour today Atomic, have you ever had nuclear waste? The sweets, atomic waste, yeah, atomic waste, and it's just like the most sour shit ever. It's just like you have one or two, and you're just like, oh, oh, no, because no. that shit's pussy shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you with your strong ass taste buds. I can't deal with sour stuff. I've just, I've just never had anything apart from actually like licking my finger and dabbing my finger in pure citric acid. Isn't that dangerous? No, no, no. It's, it's just a powdered form that you put in for cook. With, oh, okay, it's what okay. you use for cooking. It's 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 catering grade. Don't worry. Okay, okay. I was gonna say because toxic yeah, waste. Think... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, toxic waste. Yeah, not yeah, fucking then... chemical. Wait, what? What did we say? Uh, atomic waste. Atomic waste. Yeah, yeah. No, I ate seven of them during my year six stats literacy and, and got thrown out for pulling weird things. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear i feel like oh i remember i think i remember that for some reason that wait year six. Oh no 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 because that would have been middle school we only re-met we only actually met, met in high school in year eight so no i wouldn't have known that actually we didn't know each other in middle school oh dear i don't no 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 we didn't we didn't go to the same middle school because I only met you through other uh, associated friends. By the way, yeah, uh, you, yeah, yeah. I didn't go there. I eat lemons like I eat an orange. I don't mind. I can, I can eat. I can eat lemons like that. Pop I'm, something I'm, in the chat right now, real quick. Uh, uh, atomic you waste. You mean like the waste from decompos decomposition of atomic map structures, like bombs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were just yeah. general sweets in England because we're so hard. <laughs> why do you think our teeth are so fucked up over here just atomic waste that that's why i i hate that stereotype that all british people well. have fucking big wonky old fucking brown and yellow teeth from all the tea that we drink yeah it's a bit iffy but it's one of them but that's, what, that's one, one thing i've always been complimented on how fucking good my teeth are true 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 By the way, I'm just going to pop something into the chat now, Luke. And um, basically, if anyone wants to join our Discord server, this is the link to it. Feel free. And uh, that's that's what I'm going to do in the chat in terms of putting stuff in there. Maybe my D, but that's for a later date. Yeah. You know, I'll pop, I'll pop my D in there right now. Why not? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> We're not even an affiliate yet, and you're trying to get us banned? I'm sorry, okay? I'm not trying to get us banned. What are you, what are you saying? If we want to get us banned, there'll be a lot easier ways that I'm not going to do. Like, I could strip down to my nipples or something. Oh, that's weird. Why do I even say that? Okay, let's just not talk about that. <laughs> now everyone's putting their D into the chat. <laughs> How dare you people? You, you degenerates, you. <laughs> and... <laughs> Sh Shark's just like dupe. <laughs> it's his D. <laughs> Double D's. Oh yeah. Double D's. Oh, no. yeah. That's a nice reverb on that burp. I know. I think I can. I think I can actually just crank the reverb. Just crank it all the way. Whoever uh, 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 comes in right now, it's gonna be like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> what am I watching? <laughs> Just like, um, okay, bye. <laughs> I see lots of D's. D's yeah. nuts. And, um... What is that D? I don't know. He's just using like different lang like D's from different languages or something. Because obviously you have like different. Well, that one's just with a. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I mean, to be fair, these are lowercase D's. These don't count. No, but the lowercase D looks wrong. I don't think it has a comma on it. <laughs> I have no idea. Latin. D's. Ah, Latin D's. Latin D's okay. nuts. <laughs> Got him. Ah. All that reverb, all that reverb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, talking about D's and stuff. The packages and stuff. We um. So basically, what we're gonna get for potentially an opening stream. I've been thinking about it a bit. Hmm. And how do you feel about mystery boxes? I know you feel a bit iffy about them. No, I mean I don't. It's just most of the time they're not they're not Good. meant to be how much you pay. It's the no. luck. Yeah, yeah. I mean I've I've watched loads of different um you know videos on mystery boxes and unfortunately most of them that you watch they are trash. <laughs> And yeah, they because do it's not, just like... Yeah, you do not get what you're paying for. No, not at all, because it's just like... They pay just under the amount and just put whatever they want into the mystery box. What about our own custom-made mystery boxes where we make it for each other? So, the way it works is... I will sort out... We'll both set a certain price limit. And I'll sort out a box of stuff to send to you. And you'll sort out a box of stuff to send to me. And we'll do it from there. Then we're not have to deal with a third party or anything like that, and we we can basically do a lot of random shit as well. We you think, yeah, no, maybe. It's pretty pog. <laughs> 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 pretty, pretty, pretty pog. Just a box so of no. We're not going to send each other fucking dildos and flashlights. No, of course not. That wasn't my idea. Damn it. <laughs> how, how did they guess? I don't know. It's supposed to be a secret. Oh. But, but if we talk out the sides of our mouths, chat can't yes. hear us. No, they can't, can they? So, sorry. So we need to figure out how the hell they're getting inside our heads? I don't know. It's like they've been watching us before. I Maybe know. no. It's very <laughs> creepy. I feel like they're a bunch of perverts and they're going to start yeah. like sending us dick hicks. Well, depends so, who's. If they're good enough, mm. maybe it'd be something we want, but I doubt mm. it. Oh, I just don't know, man. I just don't know either. It's, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. The much and just knowing see, what we're gonna think see, about. I told you it works. They think that we're muted. Because yeah, exactly. when you talk out the side of your mouth, people can't hear you. Exactly. It's just like one of these weird known facts that people can't hear you when you talk at the yeah, side exactly. of your mouth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um... Oh my god, that's very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just literally put the whole mic in your mouth? <laughs> You alright? My cover's wet. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It's like so moist. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what have you done? I can't believe you've done this. Ah, oh, I can't <laughs> believe you've done this. <sighs> we need to... <laughs> I need to... That's all right. To... Did you know you can get three replacement of 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 these um, covers for like fifteen quid? They're not they're not free then. <laughs> oh my god! I need to take a minute to take a breath. Fuck's sake, Luke. 
of how the mic reassembled something else in shape and it got jammed into your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh my. I actually have a story about this, the saying oh my. So last week was well, not really to the gym. saying. It, it, no, it's not really saying, it's just kind of like a joke thing. But well, whilst I was talking to a friend of mine and saying like, oh my, as a sexual innuendo, I have to go to the gym, obviously, and getting nice and swole, lifting them weights, doing them deadlifts. Um, I was walking down the street, going to the car park, and I don't remember what we're talking about exactly, but I just decided to say, oh my. A random person walking past us, decided to join in, and we had like a moment of like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And he's like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And we just oh, so, so basically, oh you were just randomly talking to your friends and just went, oh my. And then someone walked past and just went, oh my, as well. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the, it was one of the magical moments where it was like, oh, you, okay, You that need happened. to find that man and marry him. And I do, I do. Even though I'm not gay, I need to marry that man. Just make it, just who, make who, it my life. Who old. said, who, you don't have to be gay to marry a man. Oh yeah, of course. As long as I'm wearing socks, it's not gay. Exactly. 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 I think he could treat me well, to be honest. It looked like he had a nice car and had a nice job. And I think I'll, I'll, be, a, I'll be a good at home husband. Just yeah. chilling out, cleaning, cooking, making sure my man, when he gets back, has got, has got a good meal in his mouth. <laughs> All you need is a mic. True. <laughs> true, true. All you need is a mic, and that's all you need in your life. And you've got an, you've friends. got a mouth, you've got an ass, you've got a mic. Don't wear flip flops because that makes it gay again. True socks and flip flops. Please, I, can't, I need to throw my room with flip flops. Please do not say you've ever rocked that. What flip flops or socks? No. Yeah. Um, or, or, well, sandals and socks, as it's called. Even though flip flops are the same because it splits the fucking sock down your toe. It depends what type of flip flops you're talking about, because there's sliders and then there's flip flops where they have like both, the... any of them, anything that's, that's not a trainer. What about dudes? Because they're slip on like Ugg boots for men. Are they just kind of like in a weird in between? What we saying, chat? Have you seen the Nike Air Max flip flops? Yeah, they're fucking weird looking. What are they? Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars worth of. Pokemon cards from a sketchy Russian guy in the back alley. Uh, this is where... I, how did you know about my Russian resource? Because I need to show you something, Luke, what I, what I was able to pick up, and you'll be surprised that I was actually able to find it. Uh, wait a second. I'm trying to think who out of your friends would rock them, and I feel like... Now, who would I feel like would rock them? So... I was able to get so shining fates right five percent my local tesco's had these tins and the mini tins yes and i was able to get two packs in each one of these tins with a coin and i am so happy about it because you can't find them anywhere online or on ebay because it's fucking scalper prices for less than 20 quid I was able to get each one of these for nine quid each, so pretty much Jeez. half what they cost. And no, it's not half yeah. what they cost, is it? Well, it's half and a bit what they cost because. Well, no, because that's quid. scalping prices. That's not what they're worth. Yeah, the, the, well, they're worth about twenty quid for every pack, or twenty quid for two packs. I don't actually know. We need to look this up. Mate, I don't know what you're talking about. Mini tins are a fiver. A fiver? Yeah. That's actual prices. Up to like maybe probably around nine quid. Yeah, like everywhere I've seen it's nine quid around my area. And that's even in like local card shops. But for to get these mini tins, like these mini tins in particular, the ones with shiny fates in, I can't find them anywhere. They're all gone and they've all been scalped. So it's weird because all I've typed is Pokemon Mini Tin, and I'm literally looking at a huge stock of fucking Shine and Face Mini Tins, Celebi Mini Tins. Oh, yeah, how much are they? 11.45. Motherfuckers! In my local area on Facebook Marketplace, though, they're selling them for like 20 quid, so I think it's yeah, where I'm looking it's at. Yeah, because it's Facebook. 
Yeah, it's no, a I'm just gonna give good prices. Oh, kiss, Mary, kill, Ross, Russian vodka, or Russian, a Russian high on vodka, socks. Um, kiss, Mary, kill. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna kill the vodka because I can't fucking stand the stuff. Marry the socks and kiss Ross. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yes uh i don't know about kissing me because like which part like Your do you face. have to kiss me on the... yes just on my face okay i recommend the forehead because there's plenty of forehead to kiss and it's like it's less awkward like it's 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 a pretty pretty big ass forehead <laughs> then i just look like a a fucking a mother tucking his child into bed <laughs> I'll just be like, oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Where's that all gone? Okay, there it is. I'll be like, oh, thank you, Luke. Kiss me on the floor. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Kiss his bunghole. No. <laughs> what? No, why? Dudes have do two that. heads. Oh, for God's sake. What? Oh. Come on, Ross. Catch up. Yeah, I get it. His, I his... get it. And anyway, I, I never said his, his head anyway. I said his face. Yes. He said his forehead. So no one actually just said the head. So ha, 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 yeah. Twitch can suck my footballs. <laughs> okay. I mean, you do have balls on your feet. The balls of your feet. Yes. And they are meaty wee flesh pockets that mm. can become pain. Oh, if you yes. get Lego on them. Because Lego <laughs> is just the... For some reason, it's like its own weapon against people walking anywhere because it's no matter if you stand on a pin it'll be a slight little prick you'll be like oh that's fine pull it out you step on lego motherfucker gets through your skin to your bone to the fucking nerve endings and it just destroys your foot only if you got kids yeah but my, my thing wasn't adult. really as much lego when i got older i got into connects <clears throat> oh i remember connects and yeah. I, used, I even had a, I even had one of the little motors, so I could actually make a car that actually went. <laughs> and me and my I cousin, remember... me and my cousin used to make shit all the time. And I had the the big, bright orange chest, or the big like it's kind of like a suitcase with a big folding fucking lid in 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 the middle of it. And that was just big old fucking orange case full. Just full of connects then. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> don't go the child of rolled around on legos mm. you, you just you're just a hard ass you, you, child you, 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 you're just a masochist shark <laughs> Meccano was the og for you oh okay i do remember Meccano, but i didn't i think because because Meccano came after connects because it was like the more advanced version because it was like you want to build stuff cool but then Meccano came out and it was like now it's for like the bigger kids that want to actually build some like in like some really cool shit. You want to design an engine and build it to put it into a car? Go for Meccano. Yeah. You can do it. I remember. Uh, what about you? Me. Play the guitar and I say the word "play" correctly. Wait, what? What? That doesn't make any sense. You play the guitar if I say the word "play" correctly. You I mean? You, you could did? do. I mean, you did say play correctly indeed and indeed i have you know i have four guitars so by the way reason for the extension now is i can now stroke my dog and still talk to you with the extension so there you go you still could do that not to this level because now i can properly pet my dog and talk as well you you know what it is change the fucking mic position like no, where you've got it clamped on your desk is obviously very bad because you have to add see? extras to your mic to make you it see, work. I'm limited to where I can clamp on my desk because you know what I've got underneath my desk and behind it is a fucking uh, basically a fireplace. And if I put it behind my desk, it doesn't really work out there. Oh, the dog's decided to lie down now. I have to go <laughs> even further back. God damn it, dog. Yeah. Play that yeah. white one. Okay, I'm gonna just sit up now. Make sure I don't okay, hit his go. tail. Here we go, chat. 
Just go for it, Luke. Two hand go tapping, baby. That that's 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 how you do. Also, Actually. that sounds like a good clip right there. <laughs> all right all right i need to take off my jumper because i'm getting quite warm but here's the question if i flash my stomach on stream would that be an instant ban no okay Girls can sit with their tits out you're fine okay i'm just checking okay i don't know gg <laughs> you've literally shown more on my channel True, 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 <laughs> true. And Bama. <laughs> I'm not worthy to hear the sound of that guitar. Good. Because it didn't make a noise. But do you know what? the funny thing? That broken snap guitar sits on top of my full digital guitar audio system. Because <laughs> this thing is a full um, digital guitar interface that links to my pc that means that i can play guitar through my pc <laughs> so yeah you're welcome chris <laughs> what, 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 what? What was that? what's the happies he liked it. he just said just like that <laughs> what, what are you talking about i don't i don't you mean, I think he means me, like, taking off my top. Oh, no. Um, Chris took his shirt off on stream once by accident. What? Oh, has he? <laughs> Obviously, he's taken something off and it's just pulled the T-shirt underneath off as well. Damn it, how do you know where I stole my Pokemon cards? Did you see one in there? Damn it. I mean, yeah, you just, you know, you just pull up a T, put your card yeah, in, let you... the T flop back down. Hey, just pull up a titty, and th there you go. Pokemon cards. Easy, easy ads. Like, I didn't know you guys saw that. Damn it. I, and now I have to find a different hiding spot. That's what I call the double <laughs> wobble. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The double wobble. Double, double wobble. wobble. <sighs> I'm trying to get rid of the wobble, okay? It's a slow process, but it's still it's still wobbly here and there. My dog, my dog's doing something behind me. Double wobble, double wobble. What do you I can think of a new hiding spot for you. Is it up his butt? What do you want? In the dungeon, we find asses who think their ass is great. A dog wants. I've got a bit. I've you know got a bit of a dumpy. A dumpy what? Me, dump truck. I got a bit of a dump truck. What? What do you mean? Dead dump truck ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> chunky boy. He is a chunky boy behind you. Yeah, he wants. In that right, hoagie. It's just like, what? What? He wants to get out because there's people out there, but he's not allowed out at the moment because he just like begs for food. <gasps> No. No. If I just ignore him, he'll go quiet. But he wants—he wants a bit of a cuddle, a bit of a, a bit of attention. So I'll itch his butt for a bit, and then he'll be all good. Yeah. Hobo, Conavaro. What? Ass is also an animal. Yes, is a donkey. A donkey is an ass. Here, take this. Go on. There you go. All right, just give him a toy. He should be happy now. No, no, you don't want that toy. Go on. Go on, get. Go on, get your toy. Go on, get your toy. I might have to let him out to get some water because he's just. 
he's not calming down and normally when he's like this he wants water or something go for a monk what's a monk monka also if you just go that on repeat right now no I'm, I'm, I'm beatboxing at the same time I'm beatboxing right now you just can't tell because I, I can talk while I beatbox damn dude yeah, I've been practicing like shitloads. Like, look, how, I've gotten that. I've gotten that good that I can beatbox while I'm talking. I can even do it in the mic without being anywhere near. Already, watch this. I'm gonna keep beatboxing. Mhm. Mm Alright, I can start rapping as well. Um, <clears throat> yo, it's your home, boy, Ross. You know, and on the mic. With a trike, kicking it like Magic Mike. A <laughs> <Well>, prostitute? <laughs> Jeez! Yeah! How I do? I give you a screw, and then double do all over you. That sounds real bad, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, it's going to a trike, kicking it like magic mic. And you can't call me any type of pipe because I don't irrigate water like a pipe, but I bring the hype, unlike a pipe, to make it tight. Yes. Oh, this straight beat just coming at you like fire. <laughs> yeah, Platinum Hit definitely produced this song. If you do do anything with this, send it and it'd be funny as heck to see. <laughs> there we go. That's our next YouTube yeah. short. Yeah. That's yeah. content yeah. for you, baby. That's some content right there. Magic Mike with a track <laughs> in hell. Yo, but uh, your homeboys rock, you know, we on the mic like a track kicking it like Magic Mike. Yeah, Yo! Boy. Fire! Yeah! <laughs> Is your jukebox stuck? Indeed. Wait, 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 wait. Let me try something else. Let me try something else. Luke, are you actually still there? Because I keep cutting out for me. What do you mean you cutting out? Like it will go wop 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 cut. Bop, 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 cut. It's because it's playing that sound louder than you, mate. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So my headphones can't pick it up, so it just, like, cuts it out. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Let's uh, clear that one. Whoa, whoa. Clear that one. <laughs> so, I was thinking of something like this, so it'd be like, Hey, hi, how you doing? I'm fine. Ticky tyke, hizzy hike, picky tyke. Ticky tyke, you, you gotta make words. You can't just be like, ticky tyke. No, hike. no, no, this is, some, this is some mumble rapping. That shit that no one likes, but uh, people do yeah. like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This is what we do oh. when we in the fucking good shit. Everybody wants to see what we're going to see what we're going to say. Hey, everybody want to know what's going to see what we're going to come in the fight. Hey. I legit have beat making stuffs. So do I. Um, if you want me to write a rap, it could be homework for me. I don't mind doing that. Uh, my little rhymes might not be in time with how you form your rhymes. But... I could possibly get a rap going on. 
but it'll be sounding so wrong yeah and a lot <laughs> a lot of the words probably won't actually make sense because the when it actually gets written it will probably because of his the way that his fucking text-to-speech <laughs> thing puts like hi how are you to melon water balloon for no reason sometimes because it just thinks that he's saying that because of his fucking strange ass mixed accent that he has that screws him over with te text to speech all the time and sometimes i sit there like what the fuck has ross just sent me i have <laughs> yeah, no there's idea been a couple times there's been a couple times you've been like ross but, what the fuck but and he I've wants you like... to write something and then he's gonna make a beat to that okay yeah yeah i'll, I'll write something I'll, I'll get something on the go i'll tell you what give me give me to saturday and i'll get something on the go for you no how about just let's see what you can do by next podcast what but next monday yeah all right i'm down there you for go that. there's there's your beat to attempt to try um write a rap to all right a beat to attempt to write a rap to this if not just write something and then chris will make a beat around that instead either okay, or whichever okay. way is easier ticky tie by ross produced by captain rumface executed, oh, ex executed by know. luke pokemon star <laughs> We can we can go viral of this. I, I believe I believe we I believe we can make something beautiful. There was a moment there where I was just trying to think of something. I can't. My mind just went blank. And also, I, I feel like whoever came in during that time right then was just like, I'm 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 sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> um, if you be honest, like. If you if you wanted, you could connect your guitar up to this for next podcast, and I could do the I could do the rap live during the podcast, or we could make it like a separate thing, where mm -hmm. it's just like a a quick fifteen minute thing. Oh, I know why that wasn't working. What was working? Of uh, my my audio sounds, I had uh, desktop stuff turned off because I wasn't using it. Tiki Tai, number one trending, 222 million views in a day. <laughs> Tiki Tai. Yeah, boy, you know it. You know it. It has to be something about Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon in my life. Uh, maybe no, like... no, make it about real. Make it about how you grew up in the hood and how you had to deal drugs and shoot other gangsters to survive. You know, how everyone writes their music. You know, how you huh. really lived your life how i really live my life yeah you know <laughs> dealing drugs I can make some, I being can make in gangs good. yeah 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 I've, I've, I've like i've been in into tag gangs you know british bulldog playing <laughs> tag taking people down on the street making them suffer go down to the feet bro i can do that <laughs> no i can't i'm not a hard guy i'm a soft guy yeah you're a I'll big soft white boy I am. I'm a big softie. It's a softer beat. Originally, it was meant to be about loving someone low key, but they never noticed you, so it's a bit of a sad vibe. Hmm. I can do a rap about that. Sure, I'm sure you I... could relate. Yeah, I can relate quite hard to that. Uh, in even recent years. Um. Hmm. Huh. It's if I want to do a rap about it though, that is the question. Because that's a really awkward situation. Uh and uh we're still friends now and I don't really know how that'll deal with our friendship if I did something like that. How the fuck would they know? True. Very true. Yeah, I I, I guess I could do No one I mean like... it's not you know, you don't name people in raps. No, no, I know you don't name people, but how the rap would work out, it'd be kind of obvious to figure it out. Hmm. Yeah, I could do something like that. I've got a lot of shit stored up. I've got a lot of baggage. And even though, even, even, even if it's not real, fucking make the shit up. Who cares? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I can make this shit up. I can do something like that. I can get it done. What? What would be your rap name, Luke? If you had to be have a rap name, I can tell you what it won't be. What's that? Anything that begins with Lil. 
little no nah, little no. epic <laughs> little epic <laughs> no big epic that's that's your name big uh, epic. steve goodbye have a good day i'll see you later little snare <laughs> <laughs> See, Steve, it's been awesome as always. Uh, I'm glad you were here to see the mess that was my fucking rapping skills. Uh, and we'll have something next week for you. Fuck knows what it'll be, but it'll be something. It'll be something else. Maybe. I guess. <laughs> Maybe. It, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. If like I can get it done quite easily, it's just um, it'll be the memorization of doing it and just doing it in a rap kind of way. Wow, can you slurp any louder? <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> what a faggot. Hey. Slurp and neck. Um. <laughs> Don't yeah. die. That would really kill the vibe. It would. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to pass out. No, oh, damn. I've gone really lightheaded. <coughs> just like the thought of doing a rap song just fucking killed me off. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> when you're not <coughs> dying on stream. No, I'm not dying on stream. Anyway, I fucking didn't take my heart off there because that's fucking made me sweaty. Uh, Wearing a hat God. made you sweaty. No, not throwing the hat, but coughing my lungs up made me sweaty because it's like Jeez. my whole face oh, you went red. Going to the gym, how is coughing make you sweat? Dude, I am in pain constantly with going to the gym. It hurts everywhere, which is yeah, but it's not like the... how <laughs> how unfit do you have to be to cough to get you sweaty? Dude, I'm su I'm sweating at the moment a lot, but it's actually a good sign because it means like I'm losing a lot of my water weight, which is good, which is like <laughs> Yeah, but water weight, I mean Within the next like six hours, that's gonna be way higher than it is Because you're just gonna then, constantly keep drinking water So then you're just gonna then, gain even more water weight. So don't matter. Don't worry about water weight and shit Yeah, um what I really care about is the retaining of water weight with how much fat I have. And different things. I'm looking into all different things at the moment to get me fit. Uh, I need to start having some taurine in my diet, apparently. So that's fun. My um, I've got a PT now as well, which is uh, a good thing. Also, I've got a story about PT. So I'm not sure if I told you this or not. Did I tell you about the PT who fucked me over? Who I'm now taking to small claims court? I remember you saying it, but you haven't really, like, explained anything. <clears throat> so, here's a story for, like, all to know. <clears throat> but just before the second lockdown in the UK started, the gyms were still open, and at that time, I was going on a course to basically <clears throat> look at different ways of losing weight and stuff like that. It was a quite simple course. I finished that off, and I was talking to the guy who ran it, he was a pretty decent guy. He was my first choice for being my PT. So I was on the sense about that. So I was leaving it a couple of weeks to see how I get on with my own personal training before I want to make the step, obviously, to go into be get a PT. During this time, someone else at the gym, who was also a PT, who also worked at the gym at the time, was basically every day I was there, she would stop by and talk to me and basically talk about different points different ways i'm doing workouts and stuff like that so it came to like maybe a week and a half in she was like oh yeah i'm also a pt and if you ever want any training just let me know i was like oh what type of training do you do she's like she showed me all these results i was like oh okay so we sorted out a date and time to go to the gym and have our first kind of like practice session and the practice session give her that it went quite well it was okay and she was like all right, I could book you in for a week and it'll be like for this month, it'll be 150 pounds uh, or you could do it per, but it's more expensive. So I was like, obviously to make it cheaper myself and to try out for a month, I went for the 150 pound option. During this time, lockdown hit. 
and because lockdown hit she was like all right no worries we'll do outside training it was near winter time when the second lockdown hit it was getting near winter and she kept canceling on me canceling on me to the point where i was like look can i just have my money back because you're not provided a service and a lot of shit kicked off and basically she said no no i'm not to the point where she blocked my phone number and blocked me on whatsapp so i had no way of getting in contact with her and i am now taking her to a small claims court and taking her through the legal process which is uh how all this shit happened she basically blocked she basically like cut me out and was like no i'm not giving you my money back which is fucking stupid because i know your full name i know where you live i can i can take you to court quite easily why would you do this to someone and she has so many excuses but i was just like none of them excuses are my problem at the end of the day i'm paying for a service that you're not providing so i need i want my money back mm. and she and she was just like no and now she's given me no method of contact now so the only way i can possibly ever get my money back now is to take her through to, well, to basically drag her through the small claims court it's not something i wanted to do well didn't did you say she worked at that gym she did work at the gym she's left now left that because the reason she said no is because she was in the process of leaving that gym anyway i've even talked to the manager of that gym <clears throat> so how pure gym works with their pts is all the pts are privately contracted so they're all got like pure gym doesn't employ them they pay for their services so they're like private contracted people and once they leave they have no power of them whatsoever so she was already in the process of leaving so she didn't care mm. if i made a complaint to pure gym or anything like that so that's the situation that I'm in at the moment, and I'm currently take. I'm currently in the process right now. I've gone through the court system and get my money back, mm. which is not a fun thing. Bear in mind, but it's actually really cheap because it's only twenty five quid to get one hundred and fifty quid back. It's not not expensive. I thought it was going to cost like maybe fifty, eighty quid, something like that. But no, no, twenty five quid to fill in a form and send it off, and that's all I need. Hmm. So that's 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 my that's my fun story with a crap PT, but <clears throat> the story does spread out because now I got the PT who I was originally going to go with, mm. is now my PT now. So yeah. hopefully he can get rid of this jiggle weight as you like to call it, <laughs> and all this junk in my trunk and uh, get me get myself slimmed down. Well, I mean you know, going in and lifting some heavy weights will never ever do that it will no Lift heavy weights no li literally the more muscle mass you have the more visceral fat it will burn so basically the more calorie the more calories you need so you can put yourself into a calorie deficit much easier yeah but only doing it that way with i'm not only just lifting heavy weights either i'm putting 10 minutes of cardio in that's well, every single day. 10 minutes is literally nothing you're you're probably walking more than that at work yeah you because need to do that's... more you need to get your heart rate up you need to keep it there so your body starts to actually do what it needs to do so that's why you do pulse training it's kind of like you run for a minute straight you stop you run for a minute straight and it gets your heart rate to a buffer rate and it basically does a slow burn instead of a where it's like continuous but so it's like endurance so you'll run as fast as you can for a minute you'll slow down to a steady walk for a minute to get your breath back and then you speed back up and that's like intermittent training and what that'll do is basically put you put your body through like a fat burning process for 48 hours where it slowly burn off more calories because you've got your heart rate to that point you don't actually need to do a lot of cardio to lose weight the main the best way to lose visceral fat which is this stuff here and these these bad boys here don't are... grab them like that <laughs> <laughs> what that's what they like can so like the best way to get rid of that is to basically put on muscle mass and burn them off we can agree to disagree on this subject because uh there's different ways and different methods but if you want to just become super skinny yes the best way to do that is just pure cardio but you lose bone mass you lose muscle mass and you also lose strength 
I want to keep. I want to get skinny, but keep my strength. So that's that's the best way for me to do it. Well, I think that that's where it gets to a point, though, because you will never be skinny because of never... like the way your body is, the way you, you're naturally built. You're always going to be a bigger guy, but even if oh, it yeah. is in muscle mass, you will never be skinny because that's just not the way your body. Like without doing some serious damage and really screwing with yourself and making you know screwing with your body what, you what could what do you mean by definition of skinny because my definition is just not to have lumps like if you were to somehow get your body size to say mine no no that's an impossibility for me yeah exactly that's what I'm saying. because like my shoulders are way too broad my hips are way too broad there's no way i can get to your point well, where i'm that skinny I'm, i actually well no. Your shoulders. My it, shoulder it, probably it, about the same as yours, to be honest. It's a it's a it'd be an interesting thing to see what I'd look like super 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 skinny. Where's right to Fiverr? <laughs> Why are you going to Fiverr? <laughs> Photoshop artist. Oh, okay. Let's get yeah. let's get that random topless photo you took in the gym the other day and make them turn you skinny. I'll send it you now. I could just look at my phone and find it, mate. You don't need to send it to me. No, I'll, I'll send it to you personally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is completely that. top off, flab out in the gym, trying to flex his arms like this, and it's it's on my <laughs> it's on your it was it on would... your Instagram, Instagram? stories. Instagram yeah, story. The... That's yeah. why it's not on there anymore because it's after twenty four hours, it's gone. Yeah, I think that's, that's stupid. Awesome. That's what that's what I don't get, Ross. I, I this is actually something I've been meaning to talk to you for fucking ages. All you do is post to your story. You because will never grow. You will never grow. Just post those stuff to your page. I'm not doing it to grow. I'm just doing it to basically show the people who I want to show my stuff. If I want to grow, I'll post stuff to my page. I know how to grow on Instagram, but I don't want to grow. That's why I only post stuff to my story. If, if you no, I'm sorry. If you knew you knew how to grow which i highly doubt that you actually know how to grow because you'd have done it by now if you'd you have done it grow, if you knew it no i can't do it it's just a pain in the ass to do it you need pictures for days you need like two or three pictures every single day and i can't be asked with that shit. if i wanted to grow i could grow i just don't want to one grand one grand what, show me that you can actually that you know how to grow and i will fucking transfer you a grand mate any day <sighs> 10 grand show me that you can hit like fifty thousand followers in the next year Let, let's 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 take it down a bit let's say 50 quid okay no no no, no if you don't hit it you just don't get money you can hit like fifty thousand followers but like within the year i will just transfer you dead straight 10 grand no no gr money your way from me just if you can prove that you actually have been the somehow the person to crack the code on how to grow like that 50k followers in a year that's thing, easy money that's difficult but it's doable yeah i can do that but i don't want to take 10 grand off you let's say okay let's cut it down to a grand again because <laughs> i don't want to take 10 grand off of you no because that's how much i believe you do not know the secret key because I'm sorry, but you would have done it. Because if I knew how to do it, I'd have fucking done it. Of course I would. You'd be literally being able to do anything you want for a fucking job if you knew the key to growth. I know the key to growth, but it depends on the audience basis and different things. Okay, I'll get it done. Can I just start fresh? Because I'll, I'll start <laughs> 100 grand when he next says it. <laughs> I'll just keep going up. I'll start a new Instagram then, and I will grow a map. What about that? I'll get that to 50k in a year. Hey? Eh? Without what, buying what, a follow bot. Without buying a follow bot or anything like that. <laughs> Key to growth. Hot girl in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, my man. He's yes, just, he's, go, he's, he's gonna get thin. He's gonna lose his fat, but then he's gonna have breast implants, and then he's just yeah. gonna sit in a bikini. And then suddenly be like, <laughs> shit, he hit a million followers in six months. 
<laughs> she was just like, fuck, that's my 10 grand gone. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, even hot girls struggle sometimes with a boob, with the boobers and stuff like oh, that. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, like that one that you sent me when we were, I think we'd, where were we finished streaming, I think? And you sent yeah. me someone and that girl that was just, just sitting there was like, that, she was like, had so many viewers, had all these fucking subs and everything. And I looked at her and went, she's fucking gross. Yeah, you didn't like her at all. The boobs were so badly fake. They were like, not badly fake, but like, they were so angular and so like, separated because there's just like nothing but the implant, like six feet away on her chest. Like they're so yeah, like, it there was a Grand Canyon, like four inches wide between her tits. It's like, <laughs> what is that? Oh, we can't say her name either because it'll be... Um... Oh no, I'm not going to say her name, but her yeah. thing is right here. Yeah, it begins, the Twitch link it begins, that you sent me is still there. <laughs> yeah, it's still there. It begins Twitch. Oh yes, just uh, talk. L oh, any oh what's oh what's that one? I don't know that one. I don't know what the OES is. Uh, basically, it's not OES. What's it called? I probably said that wrong. TOS. TOS. Fucking. T. You know what I meant. T. 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 Oh, oh yes, that's that. That's what I think it is. T. 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 Like a cup of tea, tea, terms of that, that... S -s 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 service, <laughs> motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about your tea, okay? Your tea can go eat dick. Yeah, I can, because I'm a coffee drinker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you did there. Her strange boobs had nipples, like, looking cross-eyed. <gasps> no, just, like, like... If you if you ever see a picture of like a really bad like really bad fake pair of tits where you it, it's obvious that they had almost very, they had very small boobs originally and then they've got like you know double D's now they're so perfectly circular they like sit like really weirdly out they go in when they get to a like to the actual like chest so they come out and then go in they're not just like natural they don't hang and they've got this like it just has this horrible cleavage just like really wide because there's nothing they don't naturally sit and they're like the worst pair i've ever seen i think indeed like, genuinely the worst pair i've ever seen of of like fake boobs although she is taking advantage of the whole twitch bathtub thing though yeah which is uh i don't understand how it passes terms of service because, because there's no you... nudity yeah, but still. Legs are fine because you, it's, you know, no, it's blah, not blah, blah. It's, Stomach it's not is fine. Pay. It's what they classify as sexual content. And and it is. It that's, is sexual that's, content yeah. at the end of the day. And they should classify it as such, but it's up to Twitch what they classify it as or not. Mm -hmm. And I don't, they've cut people out for a lot less. So I don't understand how people are getting through I, with this. Yeah. It's, that's, that's been the hot topic question for a while now since all this has been happening. Yeah, so people because like, of the, how they allow this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, some some fucking um, I can't remember what country it was from. Some streamer, he just I think he was watching a CS:GO tournament and he got banned because his accent made it sound like he said the N word when he said idiot. What? So he got perma banned and was never allowed back on the platform because they thought. He said the N word when all he said was, "God, what an idiot!" But in with his accent, it sounded a bit wrong. Okay, I, I get that, but and they denied him coming back on the platform. Ah, uh, it just hurts my head sometimes on Twitch. <laughs> I, I I love the platform, but also at the same time, I hate it sometimes because mm -hmm. it's like they make stupid decisions and stupid mistakes. But it's like with anything, everyone makes mistakes. But at the same time, when you're multi-million pound company you'll you should keep your terms of service for everyone the same not just pick and choose selecting who you want to be able to so could i get into a pair of shorts and just have like a wee a wee swimming pool and just have my top off with my shorts on yes in the swimming pool yes and that'd be completely fine but if i took my top off that'd be wrong right just without the swimming shorts or the swimming pool Right. First, Alex, we're not going to be going into this dodgy content right now, but 
because it's 1G, probably Niger, probably. I don't know because I've never actually... Well, I've, I've heard of the country before. Hang on, let's see what this says. Does it have like a pronunciation? Well, it's Nigeria, so... Is there a phonetic? There doesn't seem to be any little section like of phonetic or anything though. Where it would actually tell you how to pronounce it. Because my dog's been bugging me for the you know for the past hour and I think he wants some water or something, so I'm just gonna quickly let him out. Niger. This one, oh there you go. This, pronounce Niger. Thank you, Chris, this for the one phonetics. Me. This is Doggo, so I have to be back in a second. Just need to let him out real quick. All right. Yeah, it's a risky one. Mm, I don't know. Not really. It's not risky if, if, like, that's why I wanted to know what the phonetic was for it. So I know how to pronounce it, and there we go. Niger. Of Nigeria. So, yeah, it kind of makes sense, really. Niger, Nigeria. Republic of the Niger. Hmm. Well, yeah, 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 yeah I get that. <laughs> According to Google, Niger. Okay. Yep, fair enough. That's the mystery solved on the Nigerian country name pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the, that, that, that's the thing that's the thing when it comes to, you know, foreign languages and shit. Don't ever know. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about my Switch. I might... I might, like, try take it in somewhere. Like... I mean, I could just send it to nintendo i might obviously have to pay a little sutton sutton but just want to know what was why it all happened see Yeah, it's on. It's on right now. But it's just no, there's just no screen. Like the screen is black, but it's definitely on. Because... I can hear it navigating the menu. Well, that's what I mean. A Switch is still almost the same price as it was when it was brand new. Like, they're still almost £300. Like, 250 300 So, if it's less than that, then yeah, I'll, I'll see what if it takes anything. But it is physically on right now. All right, Doggo is happy, Doggo, now. Are oh, you showing how the screen just doesn't work, but it still makes all the sounds? Yeah, it's it's just turned itself back on, but there's no Wait, screen. What? Like, the, it, it's on, it's in the menu. Try docking it now to see if it actually- My dock's not uh, all plugged in. Whip it out, boy, whip out your dock. I don't know what even what I'm on. And I'm back to my home weird. menu now. Yeah, I might, I might just, you know, shoot an email to Nintendo. I don't know. 
Let's see. Switch screen. I'm not doing it myself. Hell no. Pounds. I'm getting a fucking professional. Yeah, uh, 36 pounds it seems to cost. That's really dope cheap. And there's even a full 15-minute video right here of someone taking it fully apart and showing you how to fix it. Ugh. Yeah, my actual... My dock's right here. But the charger is in the wall on the other side of the room because I'm I was charging it off of the direct power. Not for the dock because I read a video that sometimes this it doesn't turn on and you undock it, plug it in from the wall to the switch directly, not through the dock, take the joy cons out and just have the console on its own, just that and then leave it. So it did kind of work, but it also didn't because it finally got it to come on, but the screen didn't. But I'm hoping if I can get it to work docked at least then at least i'll just it'll forever be a console it won't be a, a handheld ever again but that i'm not worried about because i don't fucking i don't i just don't use it handheld it's trash yeah i guess it's different to me where i like whenever i go on any train journeys or anything like that i always take my switch with me nah, that's because what fucking i phones for no because on the switch You've got Legend of Zelda. You got a couple. You got things you can't play on your phone on the Switch. Like, and I love just chilling out on Zelda and just playing it on a train journey or something like that. I'll just go in somewhere. Like, if I'm on a bus journey somewhere or if I'm on a train journey, I pull out my Switch, whip it out, have a good hour or two just playing that again for some Zelda. That was, that's why I still haven't completed Zelda yet, even though I've had it now for a year and a half. It's because I do it in such small segments. It's just a nice, it's a, just a nice filler. Hmm. Right, I'm going to pop this back on charge. Just keep it yeah. Keep it alive. Chat, what do you think to how high and how low I can go? So, I can go. I can go low. And I can also go. There's not much think? range there. Yeah, I know it's terrible. Right? Coming from someone who's actually vocal trained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and your vocal training. I don't need any of that shit. I'm natural, bitch. I'm natural. Not yeah. Bitch. Yeah. I'm an independent voice. I've always thought about going into voice acting, but. Voice acting? Never... Yeah. Well, I've got this sexy ass mic now and there's always some odd voice acting jobs that i see every now and then and i'm just like i could try to go i don't know why you're seeing those because all those things are like be a this be a that and it's like they're all fake ads anyway N yeah most of them are but I, I see some of them where it's like people are actually looking for voice actors it's like i, I always wanted like i want to dip my toe into that and see how how i would get on with it because it'd be interesting because I've always had a flair I mean, what, for the dramatic. But what's, what's, you know, what sort of things can you do? Uh, again, I don't actually know till I try. Like, what do you mean? Like, different voices wise? Try, yeah, just try create a voice. Tr create a character. Uh, give me a character and I'll try to do my best interpretation of that voice. No, 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 no. It's creating characters. You're not going to be going into a game and being the voice of Sonic, being the voice of Mario being the voice oh, no. of zelda you are going I'm to be do that. you are going to be miss you know mr fantastic the it's new cyborg hero that you are going to be playing as and you figure what his voice is going to be by what he looks like yeah it's, it's some yeah i see what you're saying because you're going to have to create a voice oh run, run would be great for voice acting is run good at voice acting oh he'd be fucking great you got some good clips going on there. Send, send some over them. I want to have a check out. Because he hasn't recorded anything. Has he not? No, he would just be good at it. He's oh, okay. just, he would be very good at it. 
Fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm trying to think of what character I could be. I could be an Irish guy. Oh, top of the morning to you, Luddy. How you doing? That's the worst <laughs> Irish accent. That didn't even sound Irish. I know. I know it didn't sound anything like Irish because I was just trying to joke. I, I, when I get put on the spot, it's a bit iffy. Uh, well, then you would not do good in a voice acting. No, that's, when I'm You live. would get put on the spot in an not interview. Not necessarily. In an interview, yes, you get put on the spot. But if you had an idea of the character you're going to be playing, it depends on your vocal range. I guess I'd have to learn a lot, actually. See... I know how to flare my voice and be dramatic and shit like that, but I need to learn vocal ranges like you do. Yeah, but hmm. also at the same time, it's not like voice, you know, being a voice actor doesn't, you know, mean being able to go low or go high. It's it's giving your voice character, being able to give, you know, it's like, like a seven draw or like, something like that. Or... Ah, this, you know, here is a picture of this person of this character this is the name this is the backstory or whatever we want you yeah. to give this picture a voice and being able to figure something that's you know not been <laughs> it's not just a it's not just a common voice or it just happens to be a voice that they think suits that that image basically yeah i can do it alistair but not very well Alice, the... what do you mean alistair have you never seen Hell of a Boss? No, I don't know what that is. Oh, you are missing out. It's so fucking good. It's basically made by, um, quick shout out, uh, going to Vidzy Pop, who is an amazing creator who I've been following for about six years now. And it's all the characters that she's created and basically been working up towards for years and years now. And she created a pilot called uh, Has Been Hotel. And it's basically dissonance of hell, like demon characters in hell. Oh, no, no. You made me watch like the first episode when I was dropping you off at the airport, uh, the train station. Last yes, time you I came did. down. It's, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. it's all musical. Not all of it. That bit was, uh, some of it was musical, but not all of it is musical. Because it has the, a good the, daughter of, the daughter of the devil is really into happy sunshine and musicals and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yes. That's you. You know what I'm talking about now. Mm. I, I remember showing you in the when we're in the train. That sounds really weird, doesn't it? Imagine someone just walking past, just looking in, like, "What are we watching?" Oh no, we were sitting in my car. Yeah, but that's what I mean. If someone's walking past, going into the train station, like let's say they're late for a train, they just see us both sitting. Just we like, were sat at the back of the car park as well. There was no way that situation could have happened. Although, yeah, we were, weren't we? We were at the very back, like. Right How near early the fence. Were we? I think like we were there like 45 minutes because we just had food and there was nothing else we could do. Yeah, so it was like, might as well get there early anyway and just sit down and chill out for a bit. Mm. Oh, Chris thinks oh. he's seen that as well. Have you? It's worth watching. There's a, there's a new series called Hell the Boss if made and there's like five episodes on it now. Every time they release an episode, it's uh. weird because you get like people talking about it and stuff like that and it's like people just literally steal without blatantly just steal their content and just post it onto theirs but in like 15 second clips and it mm. still gets like 30k views 50k views and i'm just like like surely this shouldn't be happening right now but they don't the, their channels don't normally last long but i think it's because it's a they can classify it as like a fan thing, like saying they're representing like 15 seconds, 10 seconds that they can actually do it. Mm. And they put it onto like YouTube shorts and stuff like that. And I've been seeing it happen so much. It's like the previous, the newest video they've just recently done got released um, two days ago. <coughs> and it's already at like 1.6 million views. It's ridiculously quick. Mm. How many people was just like jumped on it. I was like, we need to see this because the character creation and um, the voice acting in it is just amazing. And it's uh, one of the voice actors is Ben Diskett. I'm not sure if you've heard of him before. He's basically done um, Billy and Mandy. He's been Billy out of Billy and Mandy. Mm -hmm. can't, I can't remember what else. He's done a lot of shit. He's done so much shit. It's ridiculous over the years of him being a voice actor. 
and that's what's kind of got me interested in looking into like voice actor jobs and different things like because like seeing seeing fuck was that seeing where i could go with it would be interesting because um as i said i've always had a flair for the dramatic and drama for me was quite easy in school and just interested ones and things even that's voice acting when you think of it it's just a characterization oh. of something well, uh, the, well whatever that was that wasn't what i was doing <laughs> it's the phone jacket guy isn't it it is but your your <laughs> your version was very i think it's because when, it's... when you're trying to do it like because it's only the pronunciation of the very beginning of the words that are done the rest of the words are spoke normally but you're trying to like muffle the whole word so you're like brr, brr, instead of Ooh, yeah blue blue yeah you still yeah. pronounce the rest of the word but it's like bry bry name is so, brian Bradondi. so it's still normal syllables in there it's only just the very beginnings of the words that are changed like with bees oh so it's only the break it's breaking down the beginning and leaving it's where i'm just trying to muff the whole thing that's why it yeah, sounds so different like, brr, brr. Brillo, brr, brr. But it's, like, it's not, it's Brillo, how are you? Brillo, how are you? Yeah, I get that, I get yeah. that. Yeah, I see, I see, I see how that could be, I see how that could be. Brie? Brie? Bumblebee? Yeah, he's really good. Bumblebee? Bumblebee. Um, I was going to ask you. Oh, I remember. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun dun dun. dun. Mm. I might have someone who would be willing to come on to the next podcast, or the one after that, depending. Um, I'm just talking to them at the moment. It's uh, it's I'll 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 plan like a meeting with you and him as well, so you two can talk as well, just beforehand, because obviously we need both of us to talk to that person. But as someone who I think will be quite interesting to bring onto the podcast. And that, that, like, that's like it. what? Who what would they do? What's what's the interesting thing for you? Like what? The interesting thing for me is the stories they've got. Um because uh one night I uh, was on Nick's server just chatting when it, they just came and started talking and it was like the stories they've got of like their life, what they've done in the past, how they are now, what they're doing. Just like, he seems like a really interesting person. And I feel like he has a lot of stories to talk about, like of the past, uh, people he's met and things like that. Like how we've got stories to talk about, like how we met the Game Grumps, how we met this. Um, my name is Bai. We've met a couple other people. He has stories similar to that. So I feel like it'd be interesting to bring on. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Also, I'll talk to you a bit more after the after this is all over and done with, and uh, tell him a bit more about him and stuff like that. But after this as well, we do need to sort out the coin thing. What are you up to tomorrow? Like, do you need to get off after this or not? Hmm. Well. Is it one of them things where you don't... Are you working tomorrow? No, no, no. That's why we do this on a Monday. Yes, because obviously otherwise... Because otherwise I'd, 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 being, I'd, I'd go to sleep. Not even <laughs> halfway... I'd be asleep halfway through this. That'd be interesting, a sleep cast. Although they're, they're not allowed on Twitch anymore. Do you remember them, like them sleep casts? How weird some of them got. You mean a sleep stream? Yeah. The thing that literally it was done like only a couple weeks ago and is not banned from twitch and is still being done right now there is a I... sleepers category on twitch i thought it got banned from twitch because there no. was a lot of problems with it no not at all they cannot ban people sleeping oh okay fair enough yeah if you literally go on all right let's have a look uh 
Where would someone be sleeping right now in the world? Where what would be a good time zone for them? Anywhere to our right. Oh, okay. That way. So whoever's in your kitchen. <laughs> Wait. The fastest sleep. Yeah. That is right, yeah. I was like, is that right? I like how, I like how you know that. Like, you know, when I point that way, that's to my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, because directly behind you is the living room. Yeah. And then to like your left is the my... window that looks out the front of your house. Indeed. You've given them too much information, Luke. They're going to be able to find me. And out the front is the, want... big, is the big... <laughs> <laughs> is all the trees. And no, to no. your right, if you keep going past your kitchen, you go through your conservatory and past your hot tub into a how... A, a, a field full of horses. Damn it, Luke. They're going to know where I am. They only have... They're going to Google map this shit and find me. They, they're they're, they're going to somehow look at England and find a patch of grass with horses and somehow navigate to you. Yes. Good luck. I it, it's not. I impossible. will pay a person that somehow uses only the information that I've given them to locate your house on Google. I will pay them every penny I earn for the rest of my life. Damn it, Luke. You've just given them incentive. <laughs> Cause that, they're gonna do it now yeah go for it i would love to see someone fucking accomplish that by me telling them that you have horses and a front of your house indeed indeed well at the least you didn't tell them what's to the left of me <laughs> well to the left of you is the front of your house no when i when i turn this way uh Past my living room to the left of uh, the front of my house. So when you come down my drive, yeah. it's to the right. When you're going out my drive, it's to the left. Your living room's yeah. on the right side of your house. No. I said outside at the front of my house. When you're going down the drive, basically down the drive to the road. Yeah. To the It's to the left. When you're coming in from the road, it's on the right. I have no fucking. I don't actually have ever looked at what surrounds your house. <laughs> I don't know because all I see is bushes, and I'm trying to concentrate on not dropping in a pothole that's going to rip my fucking exhaust off my car every time I drive down your drive. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I know. Russia. Yes. Right. What's the challenge? To find Ross's house exactly where he lives on the details that I give is there are horses out the back the kitchen is to his right the front of his house is to his left his living room is behind him and that's all you've got to find his house on google you also said at the front of me there there's a big there's trees and stuff well you've got trees and grass outside the front of your house yeah yes good luck with the other 10 billion houses that look exactly like that in britain I can give another tip to make it slightly easier. I'm very isolated. Good luck with that the makes... other billion houses like that in Norfolk <laughs> and Suffolk and Essex and literally the entire country. We are a country country. Yeah, I forget about that sometimes. <laughs> like there isn't like we have our main cities, but apart from that, we are grass. Yeah, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> to be fair, I I... Chris is probably the only person that possibly has a chance because at least he knows what surrounding city to look near. Yeah, he knows where to look near. I think I've told you where I've lived before, but although it was one of them, um, it was the last time I was in and we were watching a bunch of that creepy guy voice, that weird guy. The guy who goes like this and... Number was... one. Yeah, but number number, th number three will shock you. And it's literally just a video which isn't real. Oh, if Ross hadn't used the check-in feature so much, this would be much harder. He's checking your Facebook, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't check in anywhere, though. I've never checked in anywhere. 
Yeah, but you have at some point. And yes. that's even just going to give away any location to at least like the city. So that is very true. <laughs> that is very true. No need to tell me I've already checked his check-ins. <laughs> My check-ins isn't anywhere near me, though. Anywhere I go is in two separate cities that are near me. Anywhere I check in, so if I check... So, I have got Google Track on, so if you were able to get my IP... Oh, yes, you do. I can see it. Ha ha ha. Wait, I have check-ins on? I don't even know Facebook fucking did that. They have access to everything, bro. They have access to your GPS location as soon as you signed up for a Facebook and that you use it on a smartphone. They can check you in whenever they want, wherever you are. If you walk past the Weatherspoons, it will pop up on your Facebook that you have been at that Weatherspoons because like you have walked past it. Weatherspoons can eat a bag of dicks. I don't like it. Any McDonald's, it will locate you those. I get them all the time. I very rarely ever eat at McDonald's. If I ever go Dude. to McDonald's, like Rebel Rebel and Rock City. Yeah, Rock City. Yes. Rebel Rebel Rock City, but that's years ago. It's near, but it isn't too... That's like still, that's still a, a fair few miles away. Oh, yeah. That's still very far away, but that's not the point. That does give a <laughs> location. It gives you a location. But uh, good luck uh, trying to get from that spot to where you are. Just yeah, from scrolling <laughs> through Google Maps. It's going to be, uh, it'll be an interest. Although I have just signed up to the new dating service on there. So. Oh, mm. Wait, oh God. And That's going to be I'm just gonna... full of desperate people. You ain't going to find someone on there. You're going to find a fuck. That's all you're going to get. What did you say? Desperate people? Have you seen me? I'm not desperate to be honest. I just want a partner. I want part a real bad Luke. I want someone to cuddle at night. You've got Hoagie for that. <laughs> I have got Hoagie to cuddle. Don't get me wrong. He likes sleeping with me, but I want I want someone who can cuddle me back. Although he does lie on me, so <laughs> it is a bit weird. Um, I want I want I want female companionship. Well, I want it's, someone. It's not who... actually out yet, though, is it? It's not actually a thing yet, is it? What Facebook, <laughs> Facebook dating? No, it's a thing. It's oh, out. It, oh, want... it is actually a thing. I thought that was something that was they were me think they were starting to. Do. No, no, I'm part of the beta program. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like one of a couple thousand, I think. Jeez. I was just like, yeah, I'll get on that shit. Is Facebook that that's, that's a bit stupid? Making it a beta where only so many people. What if none of the people on your platform are compatible? Your your platform is gonna look fucking trash because nothing has been done on it. I've had one match and she had coloured hair and I talked to her about coloured hair and she was like, yeah, you should do it. And that was the end of the conversation. I was like, well done of carrying that one, bud. Yeah, I was just like. <clears throat> I'm done here. I don't want to carry this anymore. My back is hurting a tiny bit. She's, she didn't ask me any questions or anything like that. I, I basically asked like five questions in one sentence and just like, yeah, you should get your hair done. Nothing else. I was just like, yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy being this cheesy. <clears throat> I'm currently looking for Facebook. Oh yeah, I've downloaded Tinder again as well. I fucking, I fucking, I deleted it for a year. I've had it deleted, mm -hmm. and I only recently I've just downloaded it again because I was just like, I'm weak. Yeah, but I need. Didn't didn't you like last time have a weird thing that somehow your likes went to minus? Yes, yes, they did. So why so would you sign up again for a service that you know does not work for you? Because it's free. Try a different um, service. All that of is them are free. terrible. All of them are terrible. They're Hinge. All, all... Badu. Hinge is just a fuck site. Literally, it's the advertisement is a website to be deleted. 
Yes, because you find your partner. Because if it was just a fuck website, as soon as you fuck the person, you need to go back on there to find your next fuck. That's not an app yeah. to be deleted. That's not how yeah. they advertise it. Yeah, you're right. I, I have got hinged on my app on my phone already. And I, all I have to do is just sign in for it. Yeah, just so. try other ones. Don't go back to something that you know does not work. True. I'll sign in to Hinge through Facebook then. And it doesn't want to work. Okay. <laughs> Try another Fuck one. You then. Fuck you then, Hinge. <laughs> not, make it, not let me sign in. Um, There's Bumble, that, but that's a bit of a weird one. How many different, how many different dating apps are there? Tens of thousands. There's, some, there's to... some for specific races and races only. That's worrying. Like there's like I think there's one that's like uh I think it's like eight um is it like Asian mate or something like that? It's like only for people that live in Asian countries. Because there's a traditional thing that Asian families you don't like yeah, I get, an Asian will not I get go out and marry a white guy or marry a black guy. They will marry another successful rich Asian man. That it's just cultural thing. Yeah, I understand that that's cultural, but still at the same time, it's a bit concerning that that's a thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. You think of something, there's probably a dating app for it. Dating. I'm just going to say dating. Oh. You'll be okay. scrolling for a while. Uh, <clears throat> half mil smil near me. Okay, I'll go onto that. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the thing that when you actually da click it or download it, you like, that's it. You've got so many viruses. Oh, uh, it's all right. I've got virus protection. I've got so many viruses anyway. There's actually a couple on here. What's this one? I found your dog walking company. He doesn't have a dog walking company. No, I didn't, but I did work for one that was advertised on Facebook called Glossy Coats, which is actually quite a good find because that is going back quite far. That's like And those six cakes years they now. made for you. Yeah, that was six years now. <laughs> I, like how, I like how Chris is just like trolling my Facebook, just like, what can I find out about this motherfucker? <laughs> He's literally trying to find your, your location where you live. Yeah, again, that dog walking company is nowhere near where I am. I'm just going to find so, it's funny that we're going to come back next week and Rum's going to come back and he has not slept since today <laughs> and he's found like exactly where exactly I am. Exactly where you live. You could do some sleuthing on my Instagram as well because there's some tips there in the pictures. Like, if I go onto my Instagram page right now, let's see if I can find any pictures that will tell you where I live. No, 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 no. No, 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 thing no, is, no. To be fair, this challenge doesn't theoretically count for Chris, anyway. Because he is someone he that knows physically those. knows you in person. This is more for yeah. Chav, someone who actually doesn't even know you. But be interesting and cannot get a hold of your personal information as easy as Rum can. Yeah, because my Facebook is locked down. If you don't, if you're not already a friend of me, you can't really. But this find is quite it. interesting to see how far Chris is going into this. So. <laughs> I think there's like no, 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 no. Maybe one sunset picture out of twenty that could help you to find where I am. Because it's, although it's quite blurred. Uh, let me see in my stories. Probably not, because everything would be in the, in in one of the like cities that are very far away from him. Any place that it would have checked into, like proper places and halls and stuff, be nowhere fucking near him. Because where he lives, there is nothing. So I he just wouldn't... got. <laughs> Whilst you've been doing this, Chris, by the way, I've just got a Facebook warning about something. So let's see what this says here. Facebook warning? Yeah, it's saying something. It's basically came up like a shield over it. I've never seen it before. 
Wait, what's it say? Oh, it's about Hinge. Okay. I was just trying to access your Facebook, that's all. I'll just say yes, you can access my Facebook. I want to be on Hinge. Yeah, so so basically it can just take your location, your camera, your microphone, and be able to access them whenever they want still and all that sort of stuff. Regu regular stuff. Well, yeah, Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, and all the other companies do that anyway, so it's nothing new. Yeah, that's new. still nowhere near him, Rum. What, where's he at now? Where's he saying at about, now? Saying that you checked into a hall beginning with the letter B, which is in between two cities. It's like, yeah, but you're not in between two cities. You're out of the way, but there's two cities that you go to. This is what I mean, like... He's trying to figure out where it's like, he doesn't want to say names in case it's near you. It's like, these places are not near you. No, um, most check-in statuses will be either I've gone there by bus or train. Or you've possibly driven there. <laughs> yes, but... Uh, the likelihood the... is low. Because you normally yeah. only, you really only drive to work. Because if anything else, you, you do take public transport because it's cheap and you can and... like... Drink. You know, drink and shit. That'll be the only time I would take public transport. Um, I'm trying to think. There wouldn't be any check-ins recently, although. Well, no. Because Facebook for me is for my family and friends, and that's it. Uh, like I've got the uh, safety settings on where you can't really see much of my Facebook if you don't really know me. Apparently, you. You you still haven't re accepted um, Chris's friend request. Have I not? I'm sure I have. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, no, no, I haven't. Sorry, Chris. That's because you got a Mr. Meese's picture and probably I saw it. I was like, who the fuck's that? And said no. If it's not a picture of the person, I don't I don't normally look at the name, I just look at the picture and I was like, do I know that person? No. <laughs> do I know Mr. Meeseeks? Yes, I've watched his TV show a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've watched Rick and Morty. I, I, I've got a big brain. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, you have to have like 200 IQ to watch that. Yeah, man, 200 IQ plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking about it, I can go on your Facebook. Oh, them pictures. Okay. <laughs> uh? Nothing. I just look. I just seen some of your old pictures. They look good. <laughs> what, mine. Yeah. What do you mean old pictures? You couldn't have done it that fast. You have to go in and then scroll for about half an hour. Uh, not when it's with your profile pictures. Profile. Like... Well, I mean, to be fair, I don't change that really. So. You got purple hair with a grey top with pink ear stretchers which i think is pretty cool to be honest i've Are never you? owned pink ear stretchers in my life i'm sending you the picture now so you can see they're pink ear stretchers let me let me click they're pink ear stretchers That is not the colour of those. Why have they come out that colour in that photo? I've never noticed that. Why? What colour were they? They're like a weird red. They're pink in the picture, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might have done the contrast on the photo, to be fair, at some point. That's why my face looks really surprisingly red. But yeah, they're not actually that colour. In huh. the middle of nowhere. A cast up, what? I choose Macaston. Macaston. Where's Macaston? I don't know anywhere near you that I've even seen road signs for Macaston. No, I've seen something like which is a famous superhero near me. I'll give you that hint. Don't, because then he's literally got you. Yeah, he has, to be honest. Macaston. Hamlet, Derbyshire. Nowhere Derbyshire. near. Near the Nowhere. Peak District. 
That's fucking hundreds of miles away. Yeah. <laughs> good, good guess, but not close enough. <laughs> not close enough by a couple hundred miles. Yeah, how f God, how far from you to the Peak District? Jeez. Although we probably shouldn't even say that because that gives them a number then. That narrows it down. Hang on. Um, let me just see. You would win this competition like that. Because you've been to my house. <laughs> okay, on a drive. Okay, but it's not that actually. It's not as far away as I thought. But that's or still. I'll send you a picture. Let's see. This this is to one of this just to one of this one of the seas. Wait, so it's gonna this alter. Time we this, went on that road trip. Right, just but look at this photo though. This is just to one of the places that we've been to together. So it's actually the distance is different to what I actually thought. Not what I, th I didn't actually realize where Derby actually was located. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. But still, that's still a good chunk to try to figure out where yeah, I Yeah, that's... <laughs> see all that green on the map? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of chunk right there. That's a lot of chunk. <laughs> that's a lot of chunk. That's a lot of chunk in that trunk. Oh, Given yeah. That oh, yeah. There you go. More tips for you guys. Well, for rum. <laughs> for rum and rum alone. Who's going to obsess over this for the couple next couple of days and probably be sending both of us messages going, how about here? How about how here? About but we we, we want a physical location like on the map live view of his house just like i want the drone footage of my house well of no of the google car that drove past your house the front of your drive i saw that actually the other day and you probably see me on my phone on the google car because i saw it drive past me and i was on my phone looking <laughs> at stuff and it drove past me so if you're able to find me you're able to find my house quite easily <laughs> so yeah oh no what's up shock yeah what 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 are you oh knowing shark or is it like the whole finding where ross lives it's just getting closer and closer by the minute i found a place that sounds like a superhero well, it's weird because there isn't anywhere that sounds like a superhero. Like, there, it's not a superhero at all. It's a name. It's not a superhero name. It's something that has a stuff to do with a superhero. Yeah, I was going to say, because that, that clue was like, well, that's completely not right, which would just be given falsified information. Is there a castle near you? No. Actually, mm. there's not a castle, but there's a very old church, and there's a very new church. There's two churches near me. Hmm. Also, there is pubs near me. There is also cars and other houses. Stop Near giving me. too many details. There is... Air? Yes, there's air. There's water. ozone. Wa there is water. There is a couple of water near me. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not, Sometimes there's clouds above the house as well. Yes, definitely clouds. I was going to say Duck Manton. Duck Manton? Where is that? <laughs> I've never actually heard of that place. Duck Manton. I need to Google this shit. Uh, civil parish of Sutton, Cum Duck Manton. Wow. In North, in North Derby, so just north of where the first one was. 
North Derby. I've never heard of this place. It looks weird. They've got some weird ass stuff going on. What is this picture? I'm so okay. I'm screen sharing this. Too. No, I can't. Uh, what? What? What are you screen sharing? It's just. It's just a random picture of a woman who looks like she's had a bad hair day and her life's kind of fell apart a tiny bit. That's right. When you actually search Duck Manhattan, right? It's actually called Sutton Cum Duck Manhattan. <laughs> oh, that subtle cum. Sutton. It sound... Sutton. Oh, sorry. Sutton Cum. <laughs> and it is C U M. So it's like cum cum. Cum cum. Like, like jisms. <laughs> like Sutton Cum. Duck Manton. What the fuck with our names in the UK? <laughs> oh, seriously. Okay, that's new, I guess. That, that's a that's a that's a thing. But yeah, actually, gone. Sutton come. It'd be funny if they called it subtly. Subtly come. It's subtly hey. come. You know how it is. I, when you I can't the believe it's utterly butterly. <laughs> There's long thing? duck manton as well. <laughs> long duck manton. Long, long man. No, no good name. Not a good name. I never even knew that existed. That is the greatest no. fucking town name I've ever heard. Duck manton. Duck man ton. Ooh. Hey up. What? That seems familiar. What? The Sutton Cum? Yeah, I thought. Do you know my Pokemon Go days? Yeah. I thought past that. Let's see. Whereabouts is it? In Duck Manton. Surprisingly. I have walked past it, but I have been to a lot of random fucking places when I was playing Pokemon Go to get them uh, to get them Pokemons. I just I want it I want it to make a comeback. To be honest, well, I've been playing it recently and I've been doing quite well on it. Do you know there's like 12k eggs now in it? Yeah, I've, I've every time i go in there i've got loads to hatch because obviously the amount that i walk from work for, um during work i hatch like i can hatch like 10 eggs in a day yeah also they, they they've done a lot of improvements on it it's like there's there's trading there's trainer battles there's team rocket battles mm. oh, yeah i've been i've been on a, a lot of lot since those updates yeah but now you got like the pokemon home which is linked to pokemon go but you have to pay Wait, why do you have to pay? Like, I've got Pokemon Home and it was completely free for me. Yeah, well, at least there were certain things that people... The reason why people did not like the the concept of Pokemon Home. Hang on, I can't remember what it was. What did they have to pay for? Because when I had it, or oh, I lit literally... I had Let's Go Eevee. And I just traded a couple Pokemon into Let's Go Eevee. And put it into my Pokemon Home. And it was quite easy to sort out. I also just caught a creepy fucking ass, Mr. Mime. Uh, so, when I go into my Pokemon Go, uh, uh, I was talking, the reason I got into it recently, some, someone was talking to me about it, and they told me, oh yeah, have you heard about four stars? I was like, what are four stars? So it's Pokemon with perfect EVs, like they're the, they're the cream of the crop, they're the top of the top. That's, and I was just, like, I mean, that's just all three stars max, though. That already yeah, exists. All three stars yeah, but I didn't know about it. I was just like, oh, okay. That's not four. Well, that's just three max full stars. And yeah, all the bars we, are full. Yeah, but when you search them, it's just like four star. That's what they're called. Even though it's they only the show three. Yeah, that's what they're called in the game. But it's all three stars maxed. Um, so I was like, how many do I have? And I went on there and I have one, two, three. I have five four star Pokemon. I'm not sure if you can see that. So if you click on their thing and show their their EVs, then so so if I was to click on this one and then just click on the EVs, you can see for yourself if it focuses. Yeah, all three bars full. Yeah. Out. 
Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not four. People are just people have given it that name. It's just perfect three stars. No, it's what's in the search term for them. So when you search them up in your little database, it comes up with a. Uh, you can actually see that. Or it's like four dash star. No, oh, whatever. That just seems stupid. It seems stupid, but it's in the game. Yeah. It's what it's what the community wanted. What's yeah, Chris here saying? we go. Um, enrolling in the Pokemon Home Premium. It's a pr it's a paid plan. Non document. So it's, it's a premium thing. But it's it's only like sixteen dollars a year. But yeah, if you love Pokemon, it wouldn't be that much to pay. Moving for. Pokemon <laughs> from the bank is then available. You can then trans uh, number of Pokemon that can be deposited six thousand, not only thirty. Number of Pokemon that can be placed in the Wonder what? Box at once is not three; it's ten. Number of Pokemon that can be placed in the GTS at once is three, not one. Room trade is participate and host, and <laughs> being a judge is also available. What's being a judge? What are you judging? The don't know. Just says judge fun but, judge function. What what would you be judging in Pokemon Home? That's actually quite that's got me. There's probably like now. there's probably like fucking like contests. Like for different types of shiny Pokemon, which one gleams the best or something like that, some bullshit. Fuck knows. <laughs> Fuck knows. Fuck knows, buddy. But the fact that oh. on the free version you can only deposit 30 Pokemon max. See, you can deposit 30 Pokemon max, but if you can put 6,000 in there, you can do the same. You just have to transfer it over to a certain game. So it'll just take a lot, lot longer doing 30 at a time, popping them in. So say it took like 10 minutes per every 30. Yeah. <laughs> if you were lucky, especially if you've got yeah. to start going back in games where you've then got a Put it onto the newest game to put it onto the last newest game to put it on 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 the last newest game and go back in the gens and go back with the different trading cables between the different consoles. Good luck with that. And that's taking yep. hours to transfer a Pokemon. Because you can do it all the way from Gen 1, can't you? Yeah, but you'd have to literally transfer it from the newest console back and have every single game for every console to get it all the way back to yeah, an original then. game boy good luck with that it's a pain in the ass so i see why the premium service is is kind of cool but it's there i don't see why anyone would really use it either no i think it's for the fanatics for the people yeah. who really really love pokemon judge pokemon if you're enrolled in the premium plan you'll you'll have access to the judge function which allows you to check how strong your pokemon are but you just oh, do that okay. in pokemon go no, but I think what he's talking about is basically you have the Pokemon Go function on Pokemon, like Home. in Gen One, Gen Two, Chief, like basically all the different gens. So it's like a pra the, It's basically it's just another version of appraising on Pokemon Go. Yeah, but it actually works for every single type of generation because not every single generation actually shows the EVs. It's only recently where they started showing the EV stats of certain Pokemon. So you could have a perfect pokemon and not know about it because they always used to be hidden didn't they oh really oh you can't actually send um pokemon backwards you can only send them forwards yeah because the original game boy doesn't have the slots for them but you can send it backwards to emerald if i remember correctly because they have ten thousand slots it's um but if you do do it it's a possibility that it turns into a magic carp which is not recommended because you can do it but you'll probably lose the pokemon why uh, why would it turn to a magic carp because it's trying to pick up what that slot is to try to figure out what the code is so it just it either defaults it to something else it either becomes a magic carp or a it becomes a egg and it becomes basically like a glitched egg because it reckon it's like what is this and it thinks it's like cheating so what happens from cheating back in them days what they did for that is they created a glitched egg that you can't ever hatch and will just eventually fill up your whole computer bay so it'll just break the game 
or it would create uh, the missing known Pokemon, which is actually a Pokemon that is classified in the game, but you can't yeah, that's really... why it was there, yeah. If you catch it, it fucks up your game. Yeah, but that was the whole thing. That was the reason why people did the missing no thing. And yeah, yeah. You talk to the guy, and then you fly to Cinnabar. Was it Cinnabar? I can't remember. And then you go right to the very right of the island, and then fucking go and surf, and then surf up and down, up and down, until missing those spawns yeah and when you capture him you can it, everything just goes yeah everything shits breaks itself. yeah but that was just the fun thing about it that's why you always did it and then as soon as you did it you just fit and you had you had your fun you just switch your game boy off and then turn it back on again it's back to normal there's so many weird you can do it, oh you can do it with soul silver and shit Soul Silver send, is quite far and back. And send stuff back to Gen 1, even if it's a Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, no, you but you wouldn't be able to send stuff back, even if it's Gen 1 Pokemon. Right, so yeah, it's only really the more modern stuff that can go... Yeah. Back in less. time. It could never le level up, though. Lol. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't level up missing no, no, because all of its detail there there is no details. It didn't have a level. It was just question marks. It'd be fun if you could level it up though. I remember. But what attacks would it have? It doesn't have attacks either. Struggle. If it, <laughs> splash. If <it> have... <laughs> splash. You splash missing. Missing no uses splash. <laughs> Just like fluid just seeps out of its glitchly pores. We could have Mr. Gnome as a mascot on here because glitchless podcast, it's fucking a glitch. That'd be a fun thing to have where it just pops up randomly. Should we at least set, at least set it up like the audio and a picture of Missing No for our like follow notification? Yes. That'll be cool. I'll, I'll have That'd that I'll, good... I'll have that set up for next for next for the next one. Yes, boy, that, that's that, what I'm talking about. That's that's a that's a two minute job. Bounce, okay. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. With my boobs shake about too much. Uh, I don't want to be. You can basically get to anything that will play in the DS and beyond, and that would be stuck. It did have attacks. I can't tell you which ones, but it was fully functional. Really? I've never ever because even in the time that you fight it. It never attacked me. I don't ever remember being attacked by missing though. But then also at the same time, I do also remember when I did that, you also get the glitch for infinite um, rare candies and infinite master balls. So I used to just catch it with a master ball as soon as I got into the battle. Because that was part of the glitch. No, no, no. The way you get infinite master balls, you just smash B and it turns a Pokeball to a master ball. Do you not know this? Oh, yeah. No, no. the harder <laughs> you press the button, the harder you oh, yeah. press it down, the more likely you are to always get a permanent catch. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Just just normal stuff. But then there'd be a remember? glitch in the Glitchless podcast. Oh, wait. Hold on. Are you talking about this? Like... I get, I get it. Like sometimes can do that from time to time, but tomato yeah. sauce, pumpkins, chicken, sandwiches, <laughs> they cream peas. In asshole. Oh, I think we're are we are we back? Are we back? Are you back? Oh, that, hey, that was an go. awesome conversation. I'm, I feel bad for anyone who missed that. I know. Oh my uh, god, the epiphany like, that we just had in that conversation. It was like it was like the greatest son in the world kind of moment just happened there, but we can't remember it. It was that great. It was just fucking blow our minds. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as 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 you know. Mm. Talk about if Miss Oh, if Missing No is your mascot, it's not gonna be the mascot. It would just be something cool that we can have for the follow notification. Yeah, so every time you follow, it'll just be like Missing Gnome there because he's <laughs> like whatever the fucking the... Yeah. noises that he makes on Game Boy. 
one of the original OG glitches. What? Like, what other glitches are there in games that are, like, quite old? Because it'd be no. interesting to look back for the history. On this bad like, boy. What bad boy? What bad boy are you talking about? Let's say. Ooh. Oh, damn. I forgot you have them. Just kicking about. Yep. My original <laughs> Game Boy that I got when I was, like, five years old. Do you remember the small ones that looked like um, the things you got out of Digimon? What, the, the weird one. The, the SP. Yeah. Not the, no, not the SP. The uh, Advance. Yeah, Game Boy Advance. Yeah. The SP was the square block that was just like, oh my god, this is revolutionary. It's in a square block. It's so much more smaller and compact. It's amazing. <laughs> what, you mean this? Yeah. Oh, wait, is I my camera froze? No, no, I can see you. Oh, it's because it's... Yeah. Yeah, I remember getting that, and I was just like, it blew my mind. And then the DS Lite came out, and I was just like, uh, what? And that was a brick. And then the new DS Lite came out, and then the 3DS well, no, came the out. the DS, and then the DS Lite. Because it was the big chunky boy, then the small thin boy, the very square yeah. one. And then you had the DSi. I think then... I've still... I'll go and get... The... Wait a minute. I think I've still got it kicking about somewhere. Oh, Wait I sold mine a long time ago. There it is. <sighs> oh. Just had to wave for all the dildos and flashlights and all the other stuff I got back there. Oh yeah, and but, your, uh, your lower mate, your lower female half of your sex toys. <laughs> so this thing, it's in the case. Sorry, because cased it up. It's got like brown shit on. I don't even know what it is, but yeah. That's uh, the original DS Lite. Yeah, the original DS Lite. The one, the the second ever DS that came out after the Chunky Boy, and like Ruby, this still has a shit ton on it. Holy shit! Yeah, and uh, so <laughs> I have holy both shit! Yeah, I have both of them just kicking about. They both got full completions on. I might and uh, what was this? Oh yeah, Pokemon Gold. This is just broken though. Unfortunately, I can't get it to work. Oh, is I've that tried. heart gold? Yeah, it, it broke on me. It's where I got this case from. Like, this case itself is like a limited edition shit thing. But it still turns on. But I can't get the game. Oh, it's working. Okay. The game has recognized. That is a good sign. But, ah, uh, it's done what it always does. Weird. The game is dead. Uh, and it's game, about to it die as well. I've got the charger in there for it as well. <laughs> I've still got the original charger. Just because, you know. But things like that, I love. It's just like, I need to replay Ruby and Sapphire at some point. Mm. Like, they have brought out the remakes of them and stuff like that, which is interesting. Wait, what was the remakes? Oh, have you... Basically, the they've made they remade them both. They remade Ruby and Sapphire, so you, you can have. Oh, are you, uh, are you talking about Omega Ruby and that? Omega Sapphire? Oh yeah, yeah they're, they're, well, the they're not really. They're, uh, they're, they're, su they're such old games now. They technically are remakes because it's part of a different universe. When you look at the law of Ruby and Sapphire, so Ruby and Sapphire have two separate universes in. So the original games where you don't have Omega Evolutions, and the second universe where they do have Omega Evolutions is where a war didn't happen. There's a there's a bit of law. I I won't go into it right now because there's a shit ton of stuff to go through, <laughs> <laughs> and we just do not have the time with the three minutes we've got left. <laughs> Damn, nab it. Damn, nab it, you bar. Yeah, I think I think ton tonight's stream has gone well, everyone. You you all have been sexy, beautiful people as you always are. 
And you mm. have uh, given us a lot to talk about. Mm. Indeed, indeed. Uh, uh, um, also, Chris, glad to see you in here. Like, you missed the, the story behind you in being in here as well. Uh, do you remember the first podcast we ever did on this site? And we we're talking about how Chris was going to watch it. Before, and then we just figured out, like, oh, wait, there's no VOD of it. So that mm -hmm. first ever podcast that we did on this. It's lost in the internet forever. Yeah, it's lost to the ends of time. Whoever yep. was there and watched it that day knows what happened. And that's no all they one. know. No one else will ever know. No, it no one watched. Yeah, Our first like one well. was a fucking fail. Well, it went really well because we talked about a lot of memories and stuff. It's just we didn't have it recorded. That's what the fail was. And the fact there was no one in chat for the entire thing. No, it was a couple people. No, 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 no. Yeah. We started and within like two minutes, we had seven viewers within the first like two or three minutes. A load of people said hi and then they all left and never chatted. The chat stayed the same from the very beginning right to the very end yeah that's the unfortunate thing so it's, it is lost to time but we did have a good time doing it and that's what matters not the content <laughs> <laughs> no content is what matters yeah true. content always matters it's what we do this we're making content yeah like that no vod by the way killed me because i was just like but why <laughs> Why? Watch why? Because Twitch doesn't turn it on for new channels because we literally just created it that day, you know, the day before. And yeah, we, we, is, created, uh, we created it about a week before we actually done our first stream. Yeah, and uh, that is ten o'clock, dude. And uh, y'all. Hmm. So anyway, let's do a quick atra. Do you know what? Quick. Yeah. I've done it for the last five times. Okay, you want me to do outro? I'm down for Cause outro. Because you're always telling me, oh, we should say this in the outro, or we should say that. I'll let you take this one. Okay. That's when I stop the recording before he even says anything. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh. Wait a minute. Let me, I need don't to don't do one point. of those things. Oh, well, I was stretching out. I wasn't going to dab. Don't worry. Um... So everyone, I hope you have enjoyed the stream today. We have talked about some interesting things. I have made a wrap. Um, if you want to watch that, that's in the middle of the video itself. Um, we have talked about Pokemon. We have talked about a lot of different things. We had a wee moment of glitching. And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video and you have enjoyed what you have seen here today, please can come and check us out on twitch.tv. Uh, glitchless podcast at seven o'clock British Standard Time every single Monday uh, for three hours. We, we stream all the good stuff here. Uh, if you're watching this on the playback, hello there, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, but till next time, we'll see you. And farewell from me and Luke. Bye, motherfucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I just found it really funny. I what? did the robot during your entire thing. Oh, yeah, I know. I saw. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to just do the robot. <laughs> just you fucking doing the robot. As you always do. See, that would make a great short. Just, it's it's uh, it's the screen capture of this. And then as you're talking, you sort of like, you start to muffle and it just zooms in on me doing the robot. The robot. Perfect. That is a perfect <laughs> bit. Of, of content right there mm. indeed and yeah. yes i love doing outros and love talking about outros uh, i love doing stuff <laughs> i got to do things but I'm yeah so, so make sure twitch.tv <laughs> forward slash glitch podcast come check us out you youtube frogs we know you're out there we see those two or three views that we get every week we know you're out there so get your Somewhere. ass in here 7 p.m. BST, British summertime. Wink, wink. Anyway, guys, we're going to stop the recording.